everybody, and welcome to Mine O'Clock here at the Loading Ready Run Mega Entertainment Network. My name is Serge, and today, well, we're doing something a little bit different. I believe for the first time in the nearly eight-year history of this show, we're not playing Minecraft. Instead, I'm going to be taking James and Uno through a magical journey of discovering the video game that is called Terraria. So, long story short, we're in kind of a lull when it comes to interesting new things to do in Minecraft right now. And while we were punching a chunk last stream, we thought, what if we just played other crafting survival games that are in the genre? And this is just such a classic banger. And shockingly, neither James nor Uno have really played this game before. So, because I have the most hours, a bit of experience in it, uh, I'm going to be leading them and basically showing you my perspective on stuff that we do there. But first, a reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you with your support of the Patreon over at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. You can also support us over at our store at store.loadingreadyrun.com right here on Twitch and on the YouTubes. What up, the YouTubes? All right. Without further ado, good morning, gentlemen. Hi. How are you? Oh. Uh... I'm okay. Are you excited for this adventure into something new and unfamiliar? No, I'm terrified. Really? I'm I'm terrorified. <laughs> Damn, it was right there. Man, James, I'm disappointed in you, bud. Terrorified. Yeah. Yep. No, that was good. That was good. Amazing. I goofed. I All goofed. right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a new character. We're not going to be using my... Uh, my 31-hour character. You giant character of dude. Wait, you've only played 31 hours of this game? On that character. Oh, okay. Uh, my like, Terraria hours are... Please hold. My Terraria hours like are 180. Oh. Okay, that's not... I thought it was higher than that. All right. What do I want to know? I thought we hired a professional. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, professional's got the good swoopy hair. What about an up swoop? Sorry, I had to. Uh, uh, so I could have done this ahead of time, but I decided it was extremely important for chat uh, to join me on the process of creating my character, being a part of this journey. That kind of looks like me. Uh, and then creating the world it's together. There's something there that looks like Ed the Duck. <laughs> it's true. It's possible. All right. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good color. All right, what kind of what kind of eyeballs do I have? I have more bluish eyeballs. Uh, that doesn't seem to be making them any more blue. There we go, blue eyeballs. What is this? Oh, this is my skin tone. Uh, that's about closer. You know what? I think I look cute as heck. Now we're gonna play Serge Jaeger, not to be confused with Serge. And we're going to make a brand new world here. So the last time I was playing, I was playing on a master world. Uh, the Forge of Regret. And instead of what we're going to do is this world is going to be called Mine O'Clock. Not Infection of Disgust. <laughs> and so very importantly here, gentlemen, we're going to be playing on a medium world. Uh, chat might have tried to talk us into making a large world. That is a trap for first time players. That is large world is not a good idea for new players. Full stop. <laughs> Uh, small is too small. I like small for mining worlds. So some stuff to note uh, for James and Uno. Uh, there's actually a lot of randomness in worlds. Every world that you make uh, actually has the possibility of spawning different starting resources. Now they're all equivalent, but if you're trying to do like a completion run, it's not all going to be there. So for example, um, you could start with iron or you could start with lead. Is that right, or does iron or does lead replace copper? Chat something like that. So sometimes you end up making multiple worlds because you want to collect everything, right? Uh, the other thing is you have two possible main threats that you need to overcome. Uh, there's the corruption and there's the crimson. They're functionally identical. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, iron and lead replace each other. Copper and tin replace each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm going to choose Corruption. It doesn't really matter just because I don't like the aesthetic of Crimson. I just think Corruption is cooler. Uh, there's no really real real difference between the two of them, in, in my opinion, for the purposes of this. And again, chat, I'm going to get ahead of all of you right now. Yes, 
everything I'm saying has like three asterisks beside it. For two new players, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just, <laughs> just saying, for new players, it does not matter. All right, uh, we're gonna create this world, and then I'm gonna go to the booth because I have to. I have to do a, um, a secret password at some point. One, two, three, four, five. D that's my luggage, dude. Please. A pumpkin medallion can be used to sumkin him. Sumkin the pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Spooky. Oh my god. I realized I realized um <clears throat> yesterday. Minecraft needs those tips. Oh right. Yeah. You Minecraft can go to the nether <laughs> by doing whatever. Alright. Yeah. The password has been made. Welcome to Terraria. Let's wait for everybody to hop in here. I should probably Colin. Stream Colin, A. Eh? Wait. Can I change Colin's name or no? No, it's fine. Oh, by the way, as always, chat, let me know how volume is. If it could be louder, if it could be quieter, please let me know. 60% of the world is censored. I know, I, I know we can rename him that way, chat, but that's evil. I'll protect you, Jimothy. Ah, who the heck is Jimothy? It is I, Jimothy the Wizard. Uh, Why are you I'm, I'm gonna Jimothy? need you to go back and change your name to something that chat will recognize. Jimothy. How would they not recognize Jimothy? Also, where do you even see the names? <laughs> uh, when do you hover over with a mouse? Oh. oh. Uh, do you need to invite me again? Uh, you just you should Steam? just be able to join. Yeah, so I go join via Steam, I go to search. Yeah, and then it'll just, this is what I did. And yeah, it doesn't do anything. Ah, there we go, Surge invited. All right, Whee! so uh, James, I'm gonna get you right now to start chop chopping trees. Wait for Uno to get into here, because much like Minecraft, we want to have a little bit of a base setup by the time Knight gets here. All right, uh, so important things as we look around. Uh, there's an NPC. The NPC's name is Colin. Colin is here to help us out with stuff. So if you've got questions about things in your inventory, you can go and you can click on Colin and, and Colin will tell us some interesting stuff. Uh, let's just do a very quick exploration to the left and the right here just to see if there's anything interesting. Uh, otherwise, okay, nothing to the right really. Let's go over to the left. Yeah. So one of the big parts of this game is going to be getting more NPCs and bringing them up. Um, unlike Minecraft villagers, uh, <laughs> these ones are are pretty temperamental and will uh, will throw hands. That's not entirely true. All right. So there's no mm, real reason bunny to go. Rabbit. Go ahead. No! <laughs> oh my God. He just murdered that bunny. <laughs> All right. He did. So what we want to do right now is we want to kind of go over to the side here. If you two could just start chop chopping a bunch of trees, we're going to make ourselves a little starter house. Wait, chop chopping a bunch a... of Collins, yeah? I feel you like can't I harm Collins. A... I feel like I just had like a little like box that was hovering over. So uh, something that can help you mine, if you hit control, it'll bring up um, auto harvest. Ah. Uh, or you can turn that off. I use it kind of interchangeably. For whatever reason, the number one way that chat will backseat you playing this game is it doesn't matter how many hours you have. Somebody will always come into this chat and say, did you know that you can use control to auto harvest? <laughs> how, do, how do I use control to auto harvest? It's it's like my number one pet peeve. <laughs> but like, how does it auto harvest? It, well, it, it doesn't. It just automatically suggests, suggests blocks that you can click on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's that it. makes sense. Okay. So it's, it's not actually... It's auto harvest, it, it, whatever. All right, uh, one of the first things that you want to do, gentlemen, if you want to join me over this way. Oh, you can get rid of like individual tree branches. That's neat and weird. I'm coming. Amazing. All right, so what you're going to want to do, uh, and realistically only one of you needs to do this, but similar to Minecraft, we need a crafting bench. So does one of you want to hit escape? Escape is going to bring up your crafting menu. 
And then kind of a cool thing in this game is in the bottom left corner, it will show you how to auto finish a bunch of recipes that you have. And now walk away from the crafting table, look at the recipes you have access to, and then walk closer to the, the bench. And then you could see that you have access to more and more recipes. One uh, weird thing though, no, the no, mouse no. wheel is actually inverted from the way that you want to, uh, the way that you want to harvest oh. stuff. Why? I know, That's I know. Okay. I actually they, don't they, they know how to reverse that. It's extremely frustrating. Like it, it's it's trying to mimic like uh, the phone experience, right? I guess. Like, yeah. This Anyways, game is actually uh, okay. so old it predates cell phones, James. <laughs> Anyways, I, don't think that. Um, okay. I need you two to start constructing us a house. So please uh -huh. make a pretty big house. Uh, we just want to avoid spawn. Spawn can probably be outside. You can see on the mini map, we've got the spawn there. So probably from about here to here, just make a big rectangle uh, with wood on the sides. And then what I'd like you to do is to also, um, to also start making torches you two feel comfortable doing that uh, i'll make the w walls i guess why did you start with I a just... chair uno <laughs> I, I wanted to put a chair at the crafting table but you can only have the chair facing away ah! there we go okay how do i all right so to build what I... you want to do is you want to have a block in your inventory like the wood scroll your mouse wheel just like you would in minecraft so it's selected and then just place anywhere in the world. There you go. So now uh, you'll notice that I can't get in there, right? Uno, please stop with the furniture. <laughs> 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 All right, we need okay. doors. Uh, so if you hit escape, you can go door. and you can craft a door. We want two doors, one on either Wait, side. What? What? Oh, that's right. not door crafted. And I, how do I make what? So Uno's already crafted the doors. Now, in order to place a All door right. down, Uno, you need to. It needs to be inside of the solid foundation. So I believe doors are three high. So now try placing the door. There you go. Oh, and you now doors will automatically wall. open and close for us, but they'll keep out enemies. So you can't just put a door down. All right. Oh, I'm out, wait, I'm out of walls? Where did all my walls go? I made so many. What do you mean you made walls? Well, I made those like... Oh, if you made something blocks, called a wood I wall. Left. All right, you threw those to me, which is totally fine. So walls are a background thing. All right, first things first, we need to place another door. So I'm just going to go ahead and craft one really quickly here. But how right. do I... Please hold. All right, walls are walls are not what you think they are. All right, hold on, hold on. I, I've, I've obviously let the boys flounder. Uh, can I make a hammer? I can. Fantastic. All right. So first things first. Walls wall. are background material. Pardon me. Walls are background material. So if we just make ourselves a box, which was sort of the goal here. If we just make ourselves a box. Stupid slime. If we just make ourselves a box. We'll get there in just a second. There we go. And now, eh. Look at this. The Minecraft starter house has never come together faster, eh? We'll make it pretty later, don't worry. So what a wall does is you'll notice so far, this doesn't really look like a house, eh? Mm -hmm. But if you start putting the wall blocks behind it, And this is actually an important this is actually an important qualifier for whether or not this qualifies as an indoor space or an outdoor space. So once oh. you put walls behind it, it goes from just being like a house to actually being like a safe place. Wait, what what so what could happen if uh, mobs can spawn inside walls. of this? And another important difference is that NPCs won't treat this as a home. So one of the really important things that you want to do, and this is important later on too, if you want to like set a spawn underground or something like that, these, these are the qualifications for a house. Now, another thing that Uno is noticing, you can hang torches from the back here, whereas we couldn't do that before. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Uh, the second and probably most important thing you're going to want to do uh, in your inventory, you can craft something called the wooden platform. The wooden platform is going to be your best friend. So go ahead and make about 100 wooden platforms. I assure you, you will not be disappointed. Okay. Wood. So wooden platforms are an amazing block because you can walk on it, but you can also jump through it and drop through it, kind of like Mario style. And these are going to be an extremely important thing that we use to navigate around. All right, let's just finish putting in the back of this. Uh, the last thing I want you two to do is both of you go into your inventory and craft a wooden hammer. I got... No hobo. What? I just yeah, got an achievement. A, yeah. Okay. So a, a hammer, hammer is one of the few blocks in the game that'll actually interact with these blocks behind us. So uh, go ahead and uh, and add a window or two. And you can do that by using the hammer. And you're gonna want to remove like a two by two. And then real quick here, I'm going to just replant some of the trees that we had punched so that we have an, a source of wood in the future. All right. And now, exactly like in Minecraft, it's nighttime, which means scary monsters are going to start showing up. When you say window, do you mean like that? Yeah, that's perfect. So let's add another one here for symmetry. Why? Why can't I reach? <laughs> Are you having issues with uh, mouse reach sort of thing? Yeah. Well, like I have the the control thing on. Uh, if you and if it's... you're ever trying to do something and it's not working, hit control just to turn it off. Okay. All right. So now what we have is uh, we have nighttime, so we don't want to go out. So let's go down. And sort of in about the middle of our base, or we could end up carving this over later, uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a way to go up and down. So you can explore in every single direction in this game. If you go left and right, you find new biomes. Uh, if you go down, every time you go down a certain distance, you also start to find new and, and difficult and challenging biomes and stuff like that. If it was daytime, I was going to suggest that we actually explore above ground. But it's getting a little bit late, so let's not worry about it. There's some All scary right. boys so, outside. Pardon me? There's some scary boys outside. Yeah. You can go fight them if you'd like. Sometimes they drop stuff. Is he going to break that door down? No, I don't think they uh, can. Not now. Definitely not now. Does it need to be... Oh, you are you are starting a hole. Sure. Well, that's what you said. Dig All right. Down. So uh, here's an important thing. Dig straight down. Make it four wide, please. And now something that I'd like you to do is keep track of your jump height, right? And then every time it's uncomfortable to jump, put a wooden platform on one side, just one block and a torch on the other. I don't have any torches, so. Uh, come up, stop, kill some slimes and make some torches, please. I mean, I probably can make torches. Uh... All right, while you two do that, I'll fight. Oops, torch. There we go. Oh god. Ow. I did so many dead. Okay. Alright. Alright, we already have a mistake. The torches are supposed to be on the same side and then the platform is supposed to be on the same side. Yeah, I don't know why that torch got placed. What button is torch shift? On, so. There we go. There you go. All right. Good luck, Godspeed, gentlemen. Oh, you can. So while you're mining down, keep your eyes peeled to the side, much like Minecraft, for anything that looks like it might be ore. Uh oh. Nothing. Wow. You can just sort of click on the wall with the torch in your hand. Is it like a... 
like a left click. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Try turning control off again, James. If you're like, if you're trying Close. to play stuff and it's not working. Uh, the other thing you can do with a torch is hold down shift and then place. Um, I'm going to. I'm so here. confused. Excuse me, you know. Can you hop onto the right side there? You're spacing between them. Is... Like I have a torch in my hand. Okay. And I'm looking d directly across. Yeah. Uh, don't. There you go. Oh, there we go. Okay. What is happening here? Is that one too high? It was. There we go. Yeah, your mouse cursor has to be over from the wall instead of right on the wall. Maybe that was the difference. Yeah, you'll 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 get the hangout eventually. So I'm gonna keep farming these zombies for money for us, and Ooh, maybe that looks like a cave. I get like an anklet or something like. Oh, do you find us a cave? Yeah, it looks like a cave. This one is. Yeah. Now, yeah. is there fall damage? Yes, there is absolutely fall damage in this game. Yeah, uh, you're going to die way more in this game than Minecraft, and that's just okay. So, like, fully accept that death is going to happen. Death comes for us all. Dying is fun. Um, the spacing here is... Yeah, it's not, it's not easy to properly work out what the spacing... Oh, God, this is... There we go. That seems about right. Dark here now. So exploration is super fun in this game. Now, one of the things that we do want to be mindful of is the... Is the... Um, the biome depth. And we'll tell when things change once we get a little bit lower. There we go. And how are we looking there? This one is wrong. That's because it was going down. That's okay. Uh, oh, hey, James, directly underneath you, that's actually a metal ore that you could grab there. Uh, oh. Yeah. So what do you got there? It's just that stone. Oh, wait, what? So dark. What is this? Is this stone or is this metal? This is also stone. Yeah, these all look like stone. All right. Uh, another important lesson is water physics in this game are going to be very fun and very interesting. So sometimes water management is going to be something that we just have to deal with. We're kind of lucky now that this pool's off to our side. But as an example here, join me over to the left here. Oh, you can absolutely Whee! drown. Goodbye, James. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and actually move this water over to the side just to see, just to have some fun with it, right? Are there any resources down here that are even worth getting? I think there's metal down on this side. All right. So hello. What, is the, what are the things you're hitting right now? Uh, the block beside me, that's clay. That's not an ore yet either. Oh. Yeah. How do you place the torches on the back wall like that? Uh, you can just like, place it anywhere now. Like, much like the house up above. Oh, uh, okay. It's because he's got a backing. Yeah. Is there a chest there? Oh, there is. Ooh, what do we get? Uh, spear. We got some tin. Amazing. I didn't even see that chest. Thank you, chat. And is it... Um, what do I use to pick up a chest? Is it the hammer? Oh, yeah, I can barely see that. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't either. Uh, chat noticed that for me. Here, here's another little treat you can do. A little trick you can do. You can go one in. So it's behind the water. Hold on, my trick isn't working. <laughs> oh, wait, you can... And you can put a dig. torch behind it so you can see there. You can dig past. You can dig one away. All right, we got some metal right here, which is very exciting. Wait, you can dig past the... Yes. Space you're on. Yeah. yeah. If you turn off control, okay. you can click beyond it. All right. Hold on. Am I dying a little? Uh. All right. 
So it should be daytime now. Join me upstairs, gentlemen. Ah. Oh, does the mini map show day night, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. No, it does not. Okay, it's not quite daytime yet, it but it, it should be pretty quick. All right. Let's do a uh, spear instead. Check this out. Shing! Shing! <laughs> and actually, you two can fight over who uses this one. Enjoy that. We have access to some tin. And we also have our first chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little shelf for our first chest here. Yes, James, kill. <laughs> There's a floaty eyeball out here. There is. That is an enemy that you can fight. Weird game, bro. So I'm trying to remember. I guess you, you just craft metal into ingots? Or do we have to make a Yo, smelter? This spear is OP. Well, you you have AoE oh. damage. You have knockback damage. And you're also doing significantly more damage than we had before, which is kind of exciting. How do you make a furnace again? Uh, oh, we probably broke. need uh, probably need stone for it, don't we? Um, I don't want to wreck our, our elevator, so I'm going to go down and grab some stuff. Okay, so this chest is all the red squares, I assume? The so, inventory in this game is... What do you mean by red squares? Sorry. Well, it, like I right-clicked the chest, and I have a bunch of red squares that weren't there before, so I assume that that's the chest contents. Uh, I have to come up and actually do the same thing to understand what you're saying. If it looks like a second inventory that's separate yeah. from your inventory, then yes. Yeah, 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 it is. So I can just move all this stuff. I don't know what any of this uh, is. Now, so. it's important to know that only one person can interact with a chest at time. All right. I put a bunch of stuff that I got from killing those monsters in that chest. Sick. I have no idea what any of that is. Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm sorry, Uno. We need to move these chairs. Because uh, we need we need easy access to our crafting. All right. So now what we have access to. Why can't I place that? Oh, I need a third thing underneath it. Actually, let's do this the other way around. Eh. So um, as you noticed before, uh, what have you picked up the furnace? Can I have it back, please? Don't Help think me. it was me. I don't see it in my inventory. Did I destroy the furnace? Can you not pick up the furnace? No. Are you sure you don't have it, James? I'm positive. If I do, I don't know. Wait, there's coins too? I'm so... Somebody has it. Think. It's not me. One of you obviously has it. It's not me. I Is don't... it Colin? Like... It's a giant gray square. James picked it up. Chad is saying 100% that James picked it up. Where, where the hell? Where? Where? Hit escape. Check yeah. all of your blocks in the top left corner. Check the top yeah. bar too. I'm looking at the top bar. I do not see it. I see wood walls, wood, day bloom seeds, wood platforms. Oh. I apparently have it. Uh, uno. Ah. Right. Okay. To drop something, right click. You don't have to place it. All right. There we go. So, what we have now is two crafting tables on top of each other. So, when we walk up to it, we get a bonus. And, like, stuff you can do now. You can make, like, a campfire and stuff like that. All right. Now. Can you craft from stuff that's in a chest nearby? Or you no? cannot? No. But that's okay. okay. We'll get there later. So, uh, open your inventory. I just threw a bunch of metal ingots down to somebody. So, what you should be able to do now is you should be able to craft those by standing over the smelter into bars. I don't know if James or Uno got those. I've got them. All right, there you go. We got four tin bars now. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough to do anything interesting with those, but that's fine. All right, let's go for an adventure. Uh, whoever got that healing potion, go ahead and put that in your inventory. Uh, I put it in the chest, I think, because I didn't know what it was. So I'm going to leave it in the chest. Okay. Ooh, and the other thing you want to Just... do. All right. Really, really quickly here. Um, you hit escape, and you've got your hot bar, and you've yes. got four rows of inventory space. Yes. And then you've got coins. Yes. Which are what? They're currency. Uh, we, okay. As you get more and more NPCs, you can eventually go up and you can buy stuff. 
Okay. So for example, what's all... oh, that's it. never mind. Go ahead. Keep going. Well, I was just going to say, and then what's all the, just to kind of get an idea of what like all of this is, what's all the, the stuff on the right side below the mini map? So real quick before that, so you got coins and then the next slot you have before beside it is ammunition. So if you get bows, yeah. if you get guns, you could put extra stuff there. So it doesn't take up a slot in your inventory. Down and to uh, the right, you have um, you have basically three different rows that are the same thing. Uh, the furthest one, which is equipment, is stats, like an RPG. You put on an item, you get a bonus. Uh, the one beside it is a cosmetic. So you could have a piece of armor that's good, but you could wear a fancy hat, and it'll it, it's basically like a transmog system or a glam system. Mm, okay. And then finally, there's dyes. You could just change the color of it. So here, for example, James, open up the chest that you you uh, did before, and there's an anklet that you found in there. It gives plus one to armor, plus one percent damage, and equip yep. that into one of the five accessory slots that you have. Done. All right, uh, we're gonna go left, and what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to go and explore the overworld, and we're gonna do that until darkness comes. And one of the, actually, James, you lead because you're the tank and you've got the spear. Uh, Uno is the last person out. Please close the door. Wait, the door does it not close? close on its own? Uh, if somebody right click to open it, it doesn't. How do I close it? There we go. Whoa. Right, right click. click again. That just, that's a, that's a stark change in the background there. Yeah, we're in a different okay. biome. Welcome to the desert. Now we are fighting bird. Kill it, James. Can I throw my spear? Good job, James. Excellent fighting. All right, let's keep going to can, the left. Can you throw the spear? Or I no? do not believe so, no. I believe that is a pokey spear, not a javelin. Yeah. All right, and what we're looking for is uh, surface chests. So you can either grab, you can either make everything you want in the game, or you can just explore for stuff. Whichever is more exciting. Look at that. That was the world's smallest desert biome. <laughs> And then back to the forest. And, and oh, and geez, now, we found the crimson. Briefly. All right, we're gonna run away. We're gonna run away. <laughs> I need you to kill that, James, please. Oh, an eater of souls. Don't worry, I can kill the eater of souls in the first twelve minutes of the day. Out of boy, no proud biggie. of you, James. No biggie. All right. How do I bring just its the, head back? We're going to the right. We're souls. going to the right. So. Um, when you chose the world size, I assume that, oh my God, there's another one. I assume that this is what that relates to, like yes. how far you can go. Yeah, how big biomes are, direction. how far things go to the side, but it also changes, uh, the vertical size of the world as well. Is there up in this game? There is, or there is, is. There, there is an is up. up. You know, I've watched a decent amount of Terraria over the years, just sort of incidental. And I don't think I've ever seen up. I've up seen is side to cool. side and down, yeah. but I don't feel like I've ever seen up. So we... uh, we'll probably get to it later, but what up gives us access to is something called sky islands, which are very cool. We're, we're definitely not there yet. <laughs> Ooh, so we can, hello. Go, we can go up and down, but not side to side or back in time. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, all right. Uh, so wait, you... what was that thing? Uh, go ahead. I'm just going to plant some more trees before we leave here. What was that your question? Was a, that was a slime on a balloon. On a balloon. Yeah. I was going to say, what was the thing that we just ran away from? So, uh, remember at the beginning we chose between uh, the crimson and the corruption? Wait, why did the door stay open? I'm confused. I'm. Maybe it's the... Maybe it's the... Um, the NPC. I don't know. Because, like, yeah, we just run through it. There's no reason to... Okay, whatever. Weird. So when we begin, there's a there's a corruption on this world. There's a blight upon this world. And you can choose your flavor of poison. Man, we have desert on both sides. Interesting. Is it is, Colin? Is, is Colin the blight upon the world? A little bit more tin. <laughs> Let's go. Damn it, Colin. And uh, what that is, is we can basically think of that as the next challenging biome that we want to go to. Actually, uh, you know what, James? This is not a bad idea. Good idea, Uno. Let's grab some cactus. We can actually make a pretty good starter set of armor with the cactus. So let's grab all of the cacti as we walk by. Uh, we're being really unlucky, by the way, when it comes to surface chests. 
We've gotten like no caves or anything to explore so far. There is there is a cave, a just cave below right us. down here. No, we don't see. want to go through desert though. Uh, we're looking for different kinds of caves. <laughs> cave, Murderer no cave. No, not like that. No, it's, there, there's a different kind of cave. Our oh, scorpions. <laughs> oh yeah, these are passive. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This guy. I didn't know. Hey, there's an ocean. And by ocean, I mean a small pond. No, that's definitely not the ocean. We'll know when we hit the ocean. But and This, I believe, is called an oasis. Get wrecked, bird. Yeah, you tell him, Uno. Can we jump on lily pads in this game? Uh, nope. nope. <laughs> These reeds anything? I Ow. have I actually have no idea what enemy that is. I have no idea what we just fought. Ow! This plant is being a dick. <laughs> hey, it's a bird. Bird. Look, I didn't want to have to hurt you, bird. You're the one who's killing us. Who's that in the background? God, vultures are you're supposed to be um hey, there's a blimp waiting. in the background. Yeah, I see that. Uh, that's cool. Uh, I want to... Wait, what? Oh, is there like... I don't want to go down there. I think I'm going to... No, you, know, you definitely there. don't. No. <laughs> so later on, we can actually get glow sticks, which are super cool. They are basically um, balloons... Or light sources... Balloons, sorry. I saw the slime. They're light sources that work underwater. Oh, no! We found the blight again! Wow. All right. Uh, we get no caves. We are completely surrounded on both sides. All right. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Don't fight there. Don't fight there. James, run. James. Ah, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, God. Ah. I don't want to die. Yeah. I'm too young to die. Oh, God. There's three of them. I'm out. They can't get you underwater. Sure. Yeah, if you want to believe that. Nice shot, nice you know. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Wait, did I not get... How do you get hearts back? Do they just start coming back? <laughs> they come underwater. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> you got the spear, James. Okay, I also need you to kill the, bir the bird. Rocked. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, Final turns safety. out we don't get a lot of good free loot from the beginning. Uh, we're going to have to, we're going to have to New go world. and explore ourselves pave for that. It. Neat. Pave the, pave, pave the save. All right. Uh, there is an enemy. Duck. You can see the ant lion right there. So, James, I need you to go poke it, please. Don't kill that duck. Wait, what? Ow. Very good. Very good. Ooh. Oh. I got a banana split. That's food. It's a, first. it's a grebe. It'll tell you what it Medium does. improvements to all stats. Make like a banana and split. 10 minute duration. All right. We like need to get it? home pretty quick here. Did I need it? I think I ate it. Uh, if you, I believe if you right click, you use it. I'm not entirely sure. All right. Well, this was a, <laughs> this is not a very generous start. I'm just going to put it that way. The game has not been kind to us. Pave it. <laughs> well, you say that, and no. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, I've worked out how uh, how bows work pretty well, so. Oh, God. Climb. Ow. Go ahead and clear these stumps. Yeah, that bow's kind of cool, actually. When you're chop-chopping trees, you can do it from the very bottom. All right. Well, that was a uh, that was an interesting beginning. One of the things I'm going to do right away is I'm going to make a campfire. Campfire is going to give us the ability to regen a little bit faster. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put that here. And then if you stand next to it, uh, you should regen your health a little oh, yeah. bit faster. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks like everything that we want to get is going to have to be earned. Oh, I can make a cactus workbench. Uh, don't make a cactus Wait. workbench. Is a no difference. Yes. Workbench is workbench. Now, with all the cacti that we got, we should be able to make cactus armor. 
Wait, do you need the cactus workbench for that? No. Uh, no, no, no. You can just go up one. You can just go up one. Yeah. All right. So what do we have here? Uh, that takes 20. That takes 30. All right. You already have armor. So, Uno, let's give all of the cactus to James. Gimme, gimme. Nope. No, uh, it's not no, yeah, don't, don't left place. Right click to throw. Right click to throw. Uh, you not break that? You need your oh, pickaxe. You pickaxe oh, okay, breaks pickaxe. basically everything. Ah, okay. Did I throw it? Yes. Okay. All right. So, James, jump upstairs, jump up a level, and you want to craft it at the crafting bench. Okay, so while I'm here... So, prioritize the armor. You should have a uh, helmet and armor, and there should be maybe boots or something. I don't think it's a full four-piece four piece uh, armor I've got size. cactus helmet, breastplate, yep. Yep. leggings... And I think that's it. Yeah. You can make a sword as well. You can also make a Head sword. Yeah. He's already got the but... spear, though. So let's just prioritize armor. Yeah. He's going to be our frontliner, Uno. Okay. So uh, cactus helmet, uh, which goes here. Cactus breastplate here. And leggings here. Uh... Yes. I look yes, like some James. Weird lizard man. Yes. Uh... You are cactus man. No, I looked so cool before. Now well, I look that's like a what that's what dork. the transmogs are for. So don't worry about that, right? <laughs> all right. So what we're gonna do? Uh, let's go ahead and so again, important stuff that you want to keep in your inventory at all times. Uh, you're our frontline, yeah. James. So grab that. Um, grab that. Um, d -d 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 what's it called? Uh, that health potion, and I believe it's okay. B for potion chat. Is that correct? Yes, James, slay. So something else we can do out here, by the way, is we can also put torches on the ground just to see better. All right. Uh, what is it to make uh, arrows? Is it H for health? For the recipe for arrows is wood and stone, Uno. Oh, I haven't got any stone. That's All right, why. let's get down and I let's put, keep on mining. There, let's... there was a lot of cactus there, by the way, so I, I put some back. How much extra? It's like 70 for a okay. cactus suit, though. Uh, only one person can use a chest at a time, so if you're done with it, hop out. Yeah, I'm just putting stuff. I don't, I don't know what any of this crap is, so I'm just basically yeah, putting Yeah, put it all away. Put it all away. Ow. Is it worth it to, like, farm mobs? Not really. <laughs> Zombies give us anklets. Uh, the eyeballs give us eyeball lenses, but we don't really need it right now. Um, basically, get done as quick as possible, both of you, and then let's uh, let's keep mining. So the big thing we want to do is we want to get as much tin as possible, and so we want to head down into the mines for that. So come, join me in the mines. Oh, dear. That was a lot. Of, that was some All right, Uno, make sure you're mining within the 4x4. Four of the of the above so we actually want to we want to really respect uh move over to the right please you know really want to respect the the elevator this is going to be very handy later on it might not make sense now but that's fine all right uno keep on mining i'll place things behind us as we go nope that's not where that goes here uno you just dig i'll, I'll worry about the spacing <laughs> the yeah i'm definitely noticing that the the the, like the manipulation of your tools and where you're placing stuff is like a little it's a little odd. janky it's a little it's a it it's a little bit weird yeah it just doesn't feel like very precise i guess yeah uh it like, is ooh, too much so I got, I got something oh i got more tin there you go yeah mine it all grab all of that metal that's awesome maybe maybe if you set your zoom up a bit there's a yeah. way to like auto space some stuff but uh yeah. yeah. Oh, here, this is really interesting. Actually. So now take a look at where we are. Sorry, one second, you know. Take a second at where we are. Notice the background. See how the background has changed colors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we can actually no longer place torches on the background. How did the freaking eyeball get down here? Hey. Yep. All nobody, right. Nobody invited you to this party. Let's keep mining out metal here. Oh, worm, worm. It's a worm. There's an enemy that's hiding in there. Where? Hear it coming. There it is. Ow. Oh, See? yeah, there it is. 
What the? Nice. Good yeah, job. Rock sword, it's box oars. Love it. All right. Careful. The careful. Kids would say. All right. Looks like there's no other metal down here. So our goal is going to be to grab as much ore as possible. Let's just keep digging straight down. We'll get lots of stone as we mine down, Uno. I have to ask me twice. Is there not things off to the left within the stone? I don't think so. I can take a peek. No, that's just solid stone. Pardon me. Bless you. Is there no durability in this game? No. Isn't that great? Ow. No. Ow. No, skeleton. Get out of here. Ow. All right, enjoy. Ah! <laughs> it's your problem now. Ow. My problem. Uh. Do I got any torches on me? No. Torches uh, are even more so than Minecraft. Torches are so important in this game. You don't even need to put it in your hotbar. It could just be anywhere in your inventory and hold shift and it'll let you place it. Oh. Do torches do anything with like spawning in this game or is it mostly They do not. No, 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 thing? no, no. Spawning just comes from open spaces. So eventually what we want to do is we want to actually completely seal this tunnel. So it's a safe vertical way to go up and down. Ooh. All right. Hold on. Slow down there, That's gentlemen. Slow song. down. We're getting into some neat stuff now. All right, we've hit a cave, so let's start exploring it. And also, up and to the right from you, there's another ore that we can get there. Up and to the right? Yeah, you can see there's a, there's an ore right beside you. Ah, uh, was this? Silver. Silver. All right. Almost... Finish this. Nope. Please stop. All right. Let's explore this cave. Why? I, I'm i not understanding the torch placing. So now that we are in a different biome, the previous biome we're in was the easiest biome, and you could place it right on the background. Now, yeah. the issue is with the new biome that we're in, we can't place on it. So instead, what we're going to have to do if we want to get access to stuff is you're going to have to place blocks to attach it to and whatever, vice versa, stuff like that. All right, so as we as we explore, just place it on. You can either place it on the roof or on the floor. Oh, so I, I assume that this will uh, pour out if we break through it. Yeah. So my thought is, let's actually head to this from above. And so something you can do. See how I have these platforms? You can just leave those as like temporary scaffolding to get around, right? Yeah. Ooh, there's like a waterfall too. Yeah. So let's go check out what this cave has to offer. Now, check it. Take a look at this. This is a different bi different biome now, right? So now we could place on the background. Uh, back on. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So basically, every time you get into a new biome, you want to do a quick little check of like, okay, can I place on it? Can I not place on it? What resources are there? What enemies are there? So I got a bunch of tin and silver above us. So yeah, basically right now we can spread out a bit. We want to grab all this metal. We want to explore these caves. Uh, and what we really want to do is we want to find chests. Because that's going to really accelerate how quickly we get loot. Obviously, we can get loot if we just, you know, collect enough metal. But that's going to take a while. All right, I got this already, you know. You can find other stuff. Get out of this. Yeah, so under that waterfall, you can see there's some metal as well. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get to you. I have lots of torch. Oh, there we go. I'm going to try and get up above you here. Aya! Aya! No armor, no weapons, no worries, chat. So my secret here is because we gave Uno uh, and ooh, a glow light. Because we gave ooh, Uno and James the starter stuff, the first set of really good metal armor I'm claiming for myself. 
Oh, wait, what? Tab. Oh, right, okay, it's moving the minimap. Oh. Uh, James, neither James nor Uno have really played Terraria before. This is their first playthrough. Yeah. I've literally this is the played first zero. real playthrough. Um. Ooh. That is a rich ore vein. Let's go. Yeah, so in general, uh, consider this basically like a brand new blind playthrough. So as much as possible, try not to spoil anything, right? We got new people here. Uh, I know most things that are going on, so it might make sense there, but I, I am going to try and like not withhold information, but for like really fun surprises and reveals and stuff like that, let us get to it. You know? We'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. So big jackpots that you're looking for. Uh, one thing. If you find what looks like an underground structure, that's a huge jackpot. That feels so good when you hit it. So you're looking for a house. House will have a guaranteed chest inside of it. Uh, and another thing that we kind of want to keep in mind is we don't want to get too, too far from our tunnel unless we're exploring a cave system. So at some point, if you're like, hey, I found a huge thing, come gather back on me and let's go and explore that together. You know what I mean? I like that you just full sent into that, James. <laughs> Get it. There we go. Yeah. And the only Goodbye. other thing is try and always leave uh, torches where you go just so that we know that we're not like wasting time and covering each other. Ooh, webbed rope. Uh, I think there's actually something above us here, James. Or is that just more stone? I think this is... Silver! Yeah! Big old silver right here. Oh, here, James. If you're trying to... Are you trying to, like, get a foothold to mine into? Uh, yeah. Use a wooden platform. It's a platform, right? So put a wooden platform out of the wall and give yourself a shelf. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yep. I believe we've only found one chest so far, chat. What is with the start? This is all stone. So something I like to do kind of when I'm at the end of something, if I'm curious if I want to keep going or not, I like the pokey hole method. Ooh, what's that? What's what? Oh, that, that's what you're talking... You, yeah, you so I, 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 I mine in a little bit, and then I put a torch in it, and it illuminates just a little bit around it. So I, I'm going to call this uh, side pretty fully exhausted. Uh, All right, let's yeah, head towards you know. what works. All right. Uh, let's just start extending the elevator down again. How deep can you go? Well, how much do you want? Uh, deep. The answer is deep, James. <laughs> Here, can I get you two to uh, to come back where we are? You might have to dig up. That's okay. Digging up? I was always told never dig up. Wrong game. Digging up is actually cool and good in this game. Madness. Absolute madness. Uh, if you've got some dirt, you can see the lines that I'm putting on the sides there. We want to we want to fill this in. It can either be dirt or it could be whatever later, but uh I've got the, bombs. That is the plan. Uh, will that do? Pardon me? <laughs> I have bombs. Uh those won't help us build, but they will help us dig. Uh bombs <laughs> are really handy to use, especially later on when we are, um, like if you want to drain a lake or something like that, real good. Nice. So we're just going straight down here again? Yeah, we're looking, looking for a cave water. system. We're looking for, uh, when we get to another biome, it's probably going to be too deep. So yeah, we're looking like, for caves. Yeah, so we're looking for chests. We're looking for hmm. ore. Oh, you found a little, like little lake there. That's exciting. Yeah. 
But how are you supposed to like? What are you supposed to do when you hit these? Well, we have a couple of different options. How how full ham do you want to go? Oh, that one's pretty easy. Okay. So There's something you can do with that there. with that glow stick is you can actually throw that in. So with that Whoa. in your hand, left click. There you go. Cool. And so we have a temporary uh -huh. light that's going to help us out there. So something else we can do right now is uh, throw a bomb at that glow light. I'm going to jump uh, up. I'm a little afraid. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Getting the hell out of here. Go for it, Uno. So just left click there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. You can see it's lowering the water level. Keep going. And there's, uh. is that stone? Yes. Everything that you blew up there is is dropping. How many more bombs do you have? Uh, yeah. I have one more bomb. Perfect. And you can see board. it's going to drain down into that cave, which is very exciting. Oh, we found a rail. All right. Our luck is changing here, boys. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's continue the elevator going down. Uno, go ahead and uh, and trigger a little flood there. You're going to want to... No, no, no. Hold on. Uh, let's let Uno drain it from his side first. And can you remove those other blocks as well? All right. All right. Please, please keep on mining, James. Can I, can I get back, back in the shaft? No, stay outside. <laughs> Work for it, buddy. There's a stone. You're going to want to use your pick. You're going to want to use your pick, Uno. I've, I've tried to, uh, I was trying to place the shaft. You're in the way. There you go. All right, keep going. Sure, do see a little minecart uh, thing when yeah. I Yeah, uh, yeah, you do. Here. All right. Is so once we get down to there, funded? once you get down to there, give me one second here. Uh, oop, oop. All right, hold on. Can, I, can we jump to that? We can. Kill! Here, James, we need you to get out of that and fight. Oh, wait, that's Uno who got in there. All right. <laughs> We go in left or right, friends. Left or right, you pick. Uh, right. Right's always right. How do you get in? Is it right click? I can't remember. I, I don't know, but I don't know how to get out of it. All right, right click, and then you. How do you get out again, chat? I actually don't remember how to get out of out of this thing. <laughs> Help. R. E R gets you e. out. E oh, obviously. E R or E. All right. Well, okay. oh, it's so dark. Hold on. Are you supposed to... I'll lead. I'll lead. Uh, That's left. Who said... Oh. Wee. Okay. Actually, yeah. here, let's, let's get out. Let's get out. Come back. Too fast. Too fast. Oh, we found so much good stuff here. Ah, oh, what's hitting me? Oh, there's a poison trap. Oh, no, I'm dying. No, I was the first one to die. No. Yeah. Oh, that's devastating. All right. Um, now, real quick. See where I died? Oh. I don't, but hold on. Please hold. Ah. Now, I should be able to drop all the way down because we fall in water, right? This shouldn't kill me. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sick. All right. So when you die, you lose some of your stuff. You don't lose all your stuff. You lose some of your stuff. So ignore that heart for now. Uh, let me let, ah, get out of here. Get out of here, you butt. You lose all Is the money that... that you're carrying. So can I please have my 20 silver back? Whoever picked that up? I assume Uno because I wasn't here. Uno? Uh, maybe. Is it that? Probably that. All right. Okay, so real quick, look, look, uh, look where I am. Mm -hmm. Now, right here. Oh, right. I see the little thing. There's a pressure plate. Oops. There's the pressure pressure plate. And then right here, there's a trap. Oh. So, uh, yes, there are traps in this game. So let's go ahead and repair that. There you go. Now, another very important thing. You can see where Uno is right now. Mm -hmm. Hold on, sorry. Let's get a light source there. 
There's this heart. Now, chat, who do you think deserves the first heart? Who do you think deserves our first heart? I mean, James clearly the tank. you because you're, you're easiest to die. Yeah, that's because I'm not wearing armor like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you want me to continue to be the tank, sure. All right, you're the tank. So take your, your pickaxe and yeah. go mine that. Heart now what you want to do is you want to get out of water. Yeah, hold on. Oh, God. Yeah. And just like food, you want to eat that. And then hurry up with it because I'm dying to a slime. There you go. And now okay. you have permanently increased your max health by 20. Yeah. All right, now kill. <laughs> yeah. All right. There you go. So that's another one of the goals that we have in the early game is we want all of us to max out our max health. All right, let's explore in here really quickly. There's a lot of ore nearby. Ooh, there's another pressure plate thing up here. There you go. Uh, what? All right, was there any ore back this way that we missed, Chad, or do you think we're okay? Oh, I cannot make this jump. You know what? I don't need to make this jump. <laughs> okay, so what happens if I stand on this? Will that it, TNT explode? Well, hold on. Uh, let me at least look as the streamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not doing anything. Oh, you got an interesting question. Well, what do you think is going to happen when you... There's I two think pieces... it's going to blow up. There's two pieces yeah. of data here. Now, uh, do you fancy yourself to be a scientist? How do you how do you want to how do you want to solve this particular one? I do not want to. No, I'm I'm not a big fan of science. You know who loves science? Uno loves science. Oh, Uno's Uno is a scientist. That. All right, Uno, do you want to do some science for us here? I'll I'll do some science. All right. Yeah. So I'm we got a we got a detonator and we got a TNT. What do you think is going to happen here? Well, I mean, if I step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. A <laughs> little bit bigger than you think. <laughs> Thank you for your service, I like Uno. Part where, yeah, I like the part where Uno went kaboom. What is the uh, gravestone here? Well... Uno's top knot was carved off by explosives. And there's a time. Does that stay there forever? So you can pick it up. You can move them. Uh, later on, I think if there's enough of them, they can actually like summon ghosts, which is good or bad. <laughs> I just got vehicular manslaughter. All right. Uh, Uno, Uno dropped, stuff. I think it was 54 copper. Yeah, and, and the rest of my stuff. Uh... Oh, I did not want to destroy that. How do you split? There we go. So I want to turn one of these. Whatever. You know what, Uno? You know what, Uno? Don't spend it all in one place. There you go. There you go, bud. Yeah. Can I, can I have the rest of my stuff? You don't drop your stuff. Open your inventory. Yeah, it's not there. I dropped all, I dropped all my stuff. How did... Wait, how did yeah, I... It... But I had all my stuff when I died. What? Maybe explosions are different? No, Chat, why I'm, did I keep I'm my inventory set. when Uno lost his? I'm, oh, is he playing a different... I must be set to... Are you on medium core? I guess. Somebody in chat is saying medium core. Uh, go ahead and turn yourself back to not medium core. How? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know how you, you made yourself medium core. It's a, it, in yeah, the character, character select. Oh, when you built your character, you selected medium core. That might yeah. be worth actually remaking your character, Uno. Unless you really want to play by those rules. I mean, that that's the Minecraft rules, so that's why I selected that. Okay. Uh, we're going to die a lot more in this than Minecraft, but that's up to you. So at this point right now, there's no cost in you re-rolling. Like, you die a lot in this game. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, everything you have on your inventory, just put it in a chest, and I would just remake your character. It'll take you all of two seconds. Uh, can I craft a chest? I just go like gonna... up to the base, because that's where you're gonna spawn anyways, right? Well, now I'm kind of curious to know if I'm pretty sure I just 
it defaulted. I don't know what it defaulted to. So. Eh. God, it takes a while to get up this thing. What world difficulty are we on, baby? We've got two brand new first time players. There's a uh, shiny block just underneath you to the left there, James, if you want to try and mine that up. This one, I think I'll fall if I do. What is our length? Our goal for this playthrough is to get to pre-hard mode. Um, again, we have first time players, so you don't have to say anything more than that. If you know, you know, if you don't, we're not going to explain it, but that's sort of the goal for now. And I will revisit at that time. So you can't edit your character. Nope. Characters are set because there are lots of other game modes like hardcore and like challenge modes and stuff like that, that when you make your, when you make your, when you choose your difficulty, you kind of commit to it. All right, huge ore pocket. Oh, you're right, James. Yeah, you got some mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, good ore pocket right where I am. And then I think after this, what we probably want to do, if it's not too dangerous, is we want to kind of just explore uh, the mine track all the way to the left. Uh, and if we die, we're going to make new armor. <laughs> yeah. uh, or if it goes into too dangerous of a biome, we're going to make new armor. And otherwise, not. So much like in any survival game, the most important first thing that we want to upgrade is going to be our pickaxes, our tools. And then after that, it's going to be uh, weapon and then armor last. Uh, and we're mining sort of two materials at the same time, which are silver and lead, uh, which are medium tier resources kind of at this point. Just above us right here. Eh. Join via Steam. Nice. Oh, you mean to reinvite you? Sorry, one second. No. Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't give me the the option. All right, James, come back and protect me, please. James, I'm scared. Oh, interesting. So a little a little tell that we have right here. If we go to the left, you'll notice the water color actually changes. Yeah. And that's just a sign that we're in a new biome. Um. Uh, should we get back on the rail cart? I think we should probably go a little bit slower and on foot just because everything that we're grabbing right now is actually still really valuable to us. Uh, I think that might be amber, actually. No, that was a hardened sand block. Okay, I don't actually care about you. So once again, we are looking for house. We're looking for all kinds of stuff, actually. We're looking for more caves. Uh, we're looking for more ores. And realistically, we're looking for chests. And the fact that we have only found one chest this entire playthrough is wild to me. So this is another biome that you can put stuff on the back. Right. Back down we go. Ooh. Yeah. Is that a pressure plate? No, that's a slug. Good. So just keep going until, oh, worm, until, until worm. it gets dark. <laughs> it's uh, it's Uno now. with the save. Uno <laughs> with the with the minecart kill. What timing? Watch out for the water. 
Oh, that was that. Oh, jeez, like that yellow. was. I thought. Actually, uh, give me a second here. I'm gonna throw a bomb down that hole. There we go. Just to drain a little bit of water. All right, there's some ore right above us here. Actually, uh, James or Uno, if you want to just dig all the way to the right to grab that ore. There we go. Found some more ore. Here, right. Uno, uh, do you want to mine down from there, and I'll go up from there, up from here. You could see, uh, kind of to the left side of that water, that aquifer. There's, uh, there's some more metal. I'm getting lead. This is currently the number one poutine stream. God, I hope so. Mm. Oh, and silver. Nice. Alright, I think that's everything there. Okay, straight above us, there's some more stuff as well. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and to Uno for being such a good sport and going and re-rolling the character. I'm going to reward you with a heart. Here you go, bud. Yeah, yay. There you go. No. So open your inventory, hold it in your left hand, and then left click to consume. This is the end of the track, eh? This is the end of the track, and that's right where the crimson is. Man, no chests again. All right, we went all the way all the way to the right and we got two hearts all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get back on the track let's go back to the elevator actually hold on a second here what is what is that good stop all right all right uh two things we can explore does one of you want to go down into that hole kind of to the right and then there's also one right here beneath us all right down to the right yeah, there's a little water hole there. Some sacks. Ow. Ooh, some... Kill Uno! Kill Uno! 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 Woo! Woo! Ooh, what are you? Uh... Lead. Anything down there, James? No. Boo. Not that I can see, at least. Okay. All right. Eh. All righty. All right. Back to the elevator. There was something glowing and blue down here. Uh, it's probably a glowing and blue fish. Uh, how did I get on top of a torch? Oh, like a, a glowing jellyfish. Yeah, it's a jellyfish. All right, let's just grab this ore, and then I'm feeling pretty confident. Feeling pretty confident that if we... Oh, actually, give me a second. Let's try and drain this just a little bit. Actually, no, no, no. We're not going to drain this because... Because we're falling onto water, uh, this is actually a completely safe thing for us to drop into to make getting up and down faster. All right, up we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to start crafting new materials for ourselves. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> James, we're dying. James. What? I, you said up. How am I missing this jump? No, I'm dying again! Oh, it's a worm. Yeah. Just get in a just get in a minecart and oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Aim for the water, Udo! Aim for the water! I mean this is this is the cre uh, the quickest way back up. Oh my god, this worm. James, kill it! James! I'm trying, I'm James! trying! It's dead. It's dead, it's dead. God. 
All right. Good talk, everybody. Hey, Uno found the fastest way up. <laughs> Unlike us. They didn't have to jump up like a chump. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go to the puzzles. furnace and you want to convert all of your ore into ingots. Woo! So just click them? Yes, uh, if you hold down right click, you'll be able to finish it quicker. Ooh, silver, silver bricks. All right, and then okay. when you Don't are done, those. I'm going to be a little bit greedy. If you'd be so kind as to give it all to the chest, uh, any left, left, any leftover ore you have as well. And then, so there are different tiers. We really need to get a second chest. <laughs> the fact that you can't interact with the same chest is kind of weird. It's an odd design um, for sure. All right, maybe if I place it there, it'll be close enough that we can do this. All right, so we have an anvil now, which is big. All right, and so we've got this, 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 and this. Amazing. Wait, how do we get iron? Oh, we got iron from a chest. That's kind of funny. Got a little bit of platinum, which is very cool. All right. So I'm going to be a little bit cheeky with myself. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that all of us can get a pickaxe. So silver is 45%. Okay. Wait, do we only, do we literally only have enough for one different metal here? Oh, no, no, no. There we go. I have to go way up. Silver is 45. Lead is 43. Tin is 35. How much does these cost? Costs eight. Okay. So I should be able to get all of us a silver pick. Now our current pick has 35% as copper. So we don't want to, we want to do better than that. All right, now, gentlemen. A light silver pickaxe. James. Yep. There you go. Oh, shit. All Let's right. Go. Now we're now we're gaming. And correct me if I'm mistaken, we just destroy the tin, the, the copper pick, right? It like, doesn't matter. We don't use it for anything. So one of the frustrating things about this game is you end up upgrading everything forever. All right. Bottom right corner of your inventory, there's a garbage can. Let's just go ahead and destroy that. So now, oh, with goodbye. tin, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to craft myself a full set of the worst armor just because Uno has the worst worst tier. Then James has the next one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give me the tier after that. And we're just going to leapfrog each other. Eventually, there's basically three builds in this game. Ah, uh, there's four. Uh, there's melee, magic, ranged, and summoner. And what we can do later on is we can start to specialize into who does what, which is kind of cool. Goodbye, squirrel. So uh, with that sort of in mind, you can start to think about what you like the most. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm just going to call it right now. I want to be the yo-yo guy. I'd like to do melee. Okay. Because uh, okay. it just makes me the happiest. Um, okay. all right. Next thing's next. Uno, Uno, you seem to be enjoying bow. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. All right, Uno, I I'm going to upgrade. Oh, damaged. That's unlucky. There we go. Woo, that's way better. So another thing to look at here really quickly um, is I crafted two bows. There are random modifiers when you make them as well. So you'll notice that one of those bows is significantly better than the other. Oh, yeah. One's hasty and the other is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are those are the two statistics you're looking at there. Uh, haste and terrible. Correct. All right. The so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to upgrade my my sword. I'm going to go with a broadsword here. Ooh, ruthless. I, I assume there's no point me keeping the 
damage. The terrible one? No, none at all. <laughs> so you can't like recycle or anything like that? No. No, just ship it. How are we doing for time right now? Has it been about 90 minutes? All right, it has been. All right, uh, let's take a quick second here to ask any questions. So now that you're getting like a, a, a better feel for the game, what do you what do you think? Anything making sense? Anything kind of weird? Uh, I mean, it's it it's making sense. Yeah, I'm assuming that like yeah, like I guess the next stage is just like eventually you kill something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yeah. yet. Uh, and you know what, Uno? Actually, hold on. Maybe I'll upgrade myself. No, 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 no. I get this. Here, this is for you. No, here's an upgrade. So you've got uh, a bow and you've got a backup weapon. Oh, a better sword. So James is going to be our tank. Uno is our archer. I'm kind of mixed. I'm our guide. Yeah. When do uh, I get a better spear? One last piece of advice for you gentlemen is um, try and keep like dirt blocks on you or something like that. Dirt blocks are really quite handy. Hmm. God, these slimes just die to this sword. It's the hope. All right. Uh, if someone wants to do me a solid... Oops. Somebody's in the chest already. Later on, you can uh -huh. reforge. You can re-roll. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Later on in the game, you can re-roll stuff, but that's, yeah, not something to really worry about right now. Uh, where did those seeds go? There they are. Congratulations, Jimothy, for defeating the 50th green slime. Actually, uh, yeah. James, you should have just gotten a uh, something in your inventory from that. You should have gotten a banner. Yes, I got a green slime banner. Okay, hang that in the house. We now get a combat bonus against slimes when we're in the radius of it. When we're in the radius of it? So it doesn't yes. matter where I put it? Uh, well, in the house, because the further away we get, that'll be fine. There There's some other stuff to look forward to. All right. Uh, so, friends, I'm going to take a quick break here. We just upgraded our gear. Next time, we're going to come down. We're going to explore the right side of that. Uh, if you two want to do something, if you don't want to take a break too, maybe like chopping trees and whatever, but I have to use the washroom. Okay. All right, everybody. I'll also take a break. Stick around. We'll be right back after these short breaks. And we're back. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Yo. Are you chilling? Yo. Are you partying like rock stars, I hope? Oh. Always. Uh, one little pro tip, Uno. Uh, unfortunately, in this game, trees need space between them to grow. So you need uh, you need probably three or four blocks between every sapper lane. You got to use the, the pickaxe. All right. So here's my plan. Uh, there are... Sort of three things that we want to do at the very start of this game. Uh, one of the big priorities we have is we want to get as many hearts as we can through explorations. So we want to keep exploring stuff. Uh, two, we want to start modifying our house so that more NPC friends are going to move in. We're not quite there yet. And then three, we want to start prepping for our first bosses. So those are the um, those are sort of the three main goals. And I think what we want to do first is let's explore. So let's go down back and let's go to the right this time, right? And see how that goes. Now, before we leave the house, first thing we want to do, we want to make sure that we have probably about 100 torches on us. And you want to make sure that you've got more than 100 wooden platforms and lots of wood on you as well. And then some random building blocks. Uh, random building blocks. Yeah, so I've got dirt because we're going to get lots of dirt. But it's very handy to be able to build with something. How do you make uh, torches? Pardon me. Uh, torches slime and wood are just you. You I want think. the uh, slime. So slime is probably one of the most important things you always want to have on you, and that's what you get from killing slimes. So yep. things that you basically never want to put into a chest. One are the slime balls, or the gel. Sorry, uh, and then the other is wood. Always keep that on you. Just get more and more and yeah. more of it. Uh, nope, that's a dart trap. All right. So, should be safe to drop straight down. Famous last words. Hopefully the water did not drain. <laughs> nope. It, uh, it drained just enough that that Aww. way is death. <laughs> we all died. None of you thought to save tried, yourself after. I, I, you, I tried to catch. I'd fallen too far. 
Yeah. So <laughs> when I got, like when you called it, I tried to catch myself, but I already oh, taken too much damage. Oh, we got the damage. three for. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The hat trick. Where, the natural. Where's my coins? Ah. Uh, oh man, easiest twenty-six silver I've ever made, chat. Now something we can yeah. do here, James. Kill James. James. He's he's all the way up there. Hold on, I'm curious. Like, I died. Did I drop stuff? Uh oh, interesting. Well, open your inventory. One. Well, uh. I kept everything, but did I drop coins or do you lose coins? Uh, you still Is drop coins. Works? Coins are the one thing that you lose. But I still have all my coins. You still or have still all have your have coins. Some coins. Okay. Are you on journey? You're on a different level of difficulty than I am because I drop my coins. Well, it said I dropped my coins, but I don't see where I dropped them. I picked them up. Oh, they fell down to the bottom. Well, they fall wherever you died. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, for new people just joining, this is a brand new playthrough. Uh, we've got two first timers, and I'm acting a little bit as the guide here. Helping them out. So we're at a lower difficulty, because uh, everyone's got to learn somewhere, right? All right, so we're going to slowly uh, make our way across here. We're... Just... <laughs> oh, it! I'm at the end. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, yeah. We want... That's it? Man, where are our houses at? All right, uh, all right. You can, you, can, you can bust your way through here, though. Yeah, but it doesn't... Sometimes they lead to, like, a train station at the end, and you get sweet stuff. That's, that's what I'm more bummed about. Oh, by the way, how good does that new pick feel, eh? Why is my torch button? Uh, Uno, if I might give you one suggestion. Yeah. Uh, don't uh, don't start from where you are. Go to the wall. Right? Yeah, I couldn't reach to... I was trying to get to here. You got it. All right. We, we could do a little bit of Splunk in here, James. Oh, what the hell? This is very disappointing. Where are our houses? Where are our chests? Where's our stonks? Where's our profit? I think my... I'm so confused. What a what a disappointing adventure to the right, eh? If I'm acting as the guy, does it mean I'm gonna open the door and let the zombie in constantly? Alright, well. Our other option. All right, chat. Hold on. All right. Let's have a little meeting, you and I, chat. Earmuffs, James, and Uno. So, do you think we should keep going down? Do you think we should challenge the Crimson? We got a little bit of an upgrade. We could probably do some Crimson right now. I don't think our hammer is good enough. We probably have to go deeper, right? Our gear isn't good enough to do the Crimson yet, right? So, we go back to the start and uh, keep going down. Yeah, we can just keep doing the elevator. Okay. So our biome map right now is... I uh, can't really show it too well here. But to the left and the right, we've got pretty close crimson. So we don't, we're don't. we not really in a great spot to do anything else. Give me a second here, James. I'm just going to drain a little bit of this water. Just so we don't have to deal with it as we mine down. So no more falling in. Well, no, no, no. We want that little pocket of water that we've got with us. Because that's going to make it easier. Oh, and it's the depth so, is such that we just won't die to it. You know what I mean? So now we're going to just shift over the... Nope. Keep digging straight down, please. In the water? Yes. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring our own little fall protection with us. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, I see how that... Yeah, okay. I see how this works. Uh, I have uh, worm killer, please. Worm killer Kill turner. There you oh go. god. I'm um, hello. Oh. <laughs> Hi. That scared me. Hmm. How do we do this? Maybe you know what? Maybe we just close this off. I'm just you gonna close to just this go off. Straight down? What's that? You don't want to keep going down from here? No, sorry, I'm closing off the uh the oh, railway I tracks, is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, that's you. It, I was trying to work out what sounded like people 
banging about with plates. Uh, Uno, can you do me a favor? Can you use dirt and extend the, the elevator down for me? Yep. All right. Let's keep going down. When do you get rope? We're one uh, we're one vendor away, I believe, still. So that's different. Oh, there's more cobwebs as well. There you go. We're now in a third biome, fourth biome that we've seen so far. So be careful. Uh, this is going to be a more challenging biome. So we're going to want to start taking it a little bit slower now. And as always, if we see any ores while we go, we want to stop and grab all of them. here. Sick. It's probably nothing. I don't believe you. And then just a, oh. a gentle note when you're going down, if you can at all extend the dirt, it makes my life a lot easier. Yeah. Ooh. I was trying to work out what that was. Nothing else in the in the room over to the right. Doesn't look like it. Disappointing. Goodbye, Mr. Turner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's like there's silver. I'm gonna go get that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. All right, we've somehow lost all of our water, so our 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 droppability score has gone down a fair amount. Well, that's fine. You could always break in the wall. Uh... There's a little bit on that left-hand side. Oh, did you see some more platinum to the left? Oh, wait. Sorry, what did you see? Is that platinum? That's platinum. All right, hold on. One sec. One sec. Nice spot. Nice spot. Oh, that's a huge platinum. Oh, my God. Let's go. Thank you. Big plats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the water the water has very much gone now. Nice spot. Well done. Well done, chat. So normally I'd be excited to show these guys like all kinds of new stuff that we should be finding this whole way. We just haven't hit any of the normal like exploration beats, you know what I mean? Which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, right? Like, no chests, no houses. All right, we found we finally found a big cave system. All right, hold on. So Uno, let's not worry. Oh, geez, nope. Uh, can you make a wooden? Never mind. I fell. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make a wooden platform here. And we're going to go explore kind of in the direction that James is. And then let's uh, let's explore this area. We got ourselves a huge cave system. Oh, that's a lot of stuff down there. Exactly. Down. Isn't that exciting? 
So lots of metal, Ooh, lots of soaring. We can finally do some proper oh, splunking. Games us death down there. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got everything on stun lock, baby. He's living that spear life, Uno. He's got that reach. Fair, fair enough. Nothing can touch me. Uh, Uno, I got a present for you. Ooh. Oh. What'd you get? Wait. Uh oh. Did I just use it? I might have just used it. Or what did was I it? Give it to him. Archery potion. Oh. Yeah. I right click to drop. It. Left click to use if it's in your hand. Yeah. I think I you probably used it. used it. It's fine. I used it. Don't worry about it. What was it? It was an archery potion. Oh. <clears throat> I thought you said a tree potion. You can tell it's an old school Terraria player when they have their pickaxe, pickaxe in their hotbar. What do new? Wait, hold on, hold on. Do people not put pickaxes in their hotbars? What do you do? Hold on. What's changed? Oh, if you hold shift and hover over something you can pickaxe, it'll just pickaxe. But for that's you? how I use my torch. Yeah, you can do that as well. Hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. Shift is auto tool. It's. Uh, but I just no 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 no. I just threw glow sticks. Hold on. This is this. No 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like change. No no. All right. Sorry. The 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 boomer is coming out. You damn kids have it too easy. I mean, to be fair, it's it's less the boomer. It's more the Minecraft player. Back in my day, I had to hold my pickaxe. Oh, I got another heart over here. Ooh, all right, that's my turn now. Damn kids these days, no appreciation. What, are you, what else are you gonna even put in your hot bar? I don't want that many weapons. That sounds, that's too much. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, James said he found a heart. I'm assuming you're down into the left, James? Yeah. Now, a uh, neat thing that you passed. Yeah, you see that purple stone, don't you? What? See that, <laughs> no. see that purple thing right beside you? Yeah, that's above me. Yeah, go mine that. <laughs> How explosive is that? Amethyst. Yeah, our first gem. Mm. Ow. Stupid Ow. bird. So where's the amethyst? Can be placed. Material. Cool. Love material that can be placed. Love materials. All all my homies love materials that can be placed. All right, Uno's up that way. Uh, so before we get too too far from this, it might be worth. Oh, see, James, you're actually uh, down about one more biome here. I I don't think we're quite ready to head to that next biome. This is where the bats I... are coming from. If you're curious. Uh, remember wooden platforms, too. Wooden platforms are your best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... Wanted a jumpable way. All right. Um, okay, so we're not going down. No. So I actually think we should uh, spread out a bit on this level here. Because we'll get a good density of ores. And we want to be mining more. Uh, in particular, if you can find it, platinum is the way to go. And then, so let's hang out here until we hit. Probably, I mean, I'm still wearing baby armor. Uh, Uno's still wearing baby armor. So let's let's probably grind a bit on this level until we get to uh, and This is where I love that we don't have durability on tools. Yeah, because you can just keep mining this forever. Yep. This is also why I upgraded our picks on everybody. Until my keyboard needs plugging in. Charge! Look at this. That tag team mining. Oh my god, look at this teamwork. Look at this dream work. Terraria punch a chunk when? You're seeing it. There we go. Hey, uh, above us, there's something too. Ooh. Found redstone. 
So tin isn't that exciting, but we're gonna grab it anyways. Rubies. Why is this? Why is this uh, place blue? Uh, what have you found, Uno? I, uh, I don't know. It's just the stone has got blue on it. You might have found a mushroom biome. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go find wherever Uno is. I went left. Uh, is it like fuzzy blue? Sorry, left from what height though? Um, oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like a fuzzy blue on the rocks. Oh yeah. No, that's not a mushroom biome yet. I think you might have just found some blue stuff. Some more amethyst above us. I'm going to go grab that. Let's explore this cave system. We want to grab resources. We want to grab all kinds of stuff. That's just mossy rock. That's just aesthetic stuff. Yeah, okay. I thought so. Ooh, nice. Silver. That is a big, that is a big deposit, Uno. Very nice find. That is a lot of silver, yeah. Still no chests. Unbelievable. Where are my water chests at? How are we so unlucky, chat? Oh, and there's a, oh, a huge hole of tin in here as well. So tin is starting to get to the point that we don't really care about anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. Wow. I can't believe you just hurt Tin's feelings like that. Tin knows what it did. Here, James, you want to come mine with me? I'll, I'll collect oh, yeah. you, Tin. Down here. Maybe I was just lucky in my previous playthroughs. What, to find an chest? That's too lucky? Uh, I'm going to go down. Wait, is that just Tin again? No, no, no. We don't care about Tin. We're over Tin. Silver or bust. Platinum, ideally. Oh, spiders. Ooh, is this a full-on spider biome? Oh, God! Oh, God, James! James! Okay. Hey, we found an area we can farm. Oh, we found a friend. We found a friend. All right. All right. So you'll notice that there's a person there. Yeah, rescue him, James. Rescue them. Jeepers creepers. Right click on them. Yep. Now I can finally do my hair. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I can, I can shop clothes, hairstyle, or happiness. So what we want to do now is remember I was talking a little bit about like um, uh, the, the happiness of people if we want them to move in with us. Mm -hmm. So now we have to go back to our base at some point and upgrade our right. place. Do I want to do anything with this person? Uh, you, I wouldn't worry about it right now. But we can we can farm the spider cave. Now, careful, they're going to be a little bit stronger than us, so don't push ahead too aggressively or you might just die. This is platinum. Oh, spider. Please. Please. Do you know who I am? So, chat, help me out here. Does the spider drop the armor set or does it drop pieces that you craft the armor set with? I can't remember. It drops pieces, right. And it's good for ranged as well, I believe. Oh, it's only in hard mode. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. We can still just explore this. Thank you. Ooh, sapphire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that looks like maybe silver above us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't... What the heck is this? I found a gold chest. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, oh I there's died. a. I did. I died. <laughs> oh, careful! Yeah, you saw the 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 pressure plate there, right, Una? Yeah. So oh, he found a house. Yeah, I didn't see he the found a plate. house. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, Uno. Man, I died. Twitch chat, I died. I can't actually can... see, but I seem to be hitting. How the hell do I get back to you? Uh, don't worry, we'll come to you in just a second here. We got that loot. All right, what do we got? Uh, Hermes booties. All right, I'm going to take those oh, for God, myself. How have I got stuck here? Uh, and a recall potion. Take the chest. Take the chandelier here. Oh, there's a pressure plate uh, right in front of you, you know, right to the right of the rope. Yeah. You can see that little pixel. Don't yeah. step on it. Let me let me get out. There we go. All right. Um, we're going to stay here just for another second. Let's mine this stuff and then let's go get James. And then what we're going to do is we're going to up upgrade some stuff. Uh, oh, that's a big scary slime. Oh, that's a big slime. Well, that you're probably going to die. Very big slime. That is a mother slime. Yes, and then guess what happens when you kill a mother slime? Babies! Oh, I'm out of arrows now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Uno. <laughs> I dropped seven silver and 31 copper. All right. All right. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> no, you just How y'all doing? I teleported back here. <laughs> All right, neat. Well, well, well. Isn't that a fun adventure? So, some neat stuff. One, check this out. Uh, we have access to another storage room. All right. Before we do any of this, we need to we need to redesign our entire house. And what we need to start thinking about is dormitories for our new villagers to want to move into. All right. Does that all make sense? Okay. Uh -huh. So in order for a person to want to move in, and again, chat, this is just the basics. This is just the basics. Uh, they need, I think it's something like a minimum of a five by seven room. And the room needs to have a door, a light source, and two pieces of uh, furniture, right? Is that correct? Don't worry about biomes. Don't worry about happiness. We literally just care about the room. They're so needy. Wow. One surface and one comfort. So like a table and a chair? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know if it was two furniture or just the table and the chair. Okay. All right. So real quick, before we do that, let's upgrade this floor because this floor is hideous, right? Ugh, so ugly. All right. So gentlemen, what we're going to do is our floor needs a second house. So, uh, if you would be so kind... Oh, there's a fish outside. There's a goldfish outside. I mean, I kind of... Man, I kind of want to change the whole thing. I also want to... All right. Hold on. Earmuffs. 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 Should we start building this as a fortress or should we let a bad thing happen first? Don't say any other details. No other details. Should we build knowing certain events or should we not worry about it, chat? Let the bad thing happen first. All right. <laughs> Sick. Well. All right. Cool. Uh, let's let's pull the roof off. So I just uh, you want to turn all this stuff into its bar form as well. What? Uh, don't worry about metal right now. Just throw it all in the chest. Okay. That'll be that'll be after. So we want to do some we want to do some home renovations. All right. All right, home renos. So what we want to do is we want to probably one higher than it is right now. Here, help me out with the building. One higher than it is right now. Is that a good height? No, 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 no. Maybe the same height that it is right now. That's fine.
Uh, can somebody count to make this symmetrical? What? Also, James, can you do me a solid? Can you go to the left, uh, kill everything, and put about three or four torches out so we can just see when things are walking up to us? Mm -hmm. Nope. Gotta love doing this at night, eh? in here. We don't have the tape measure yet. Uh, we're gonna kind of eyeball this. I'm gonna go one more. Let's go two more. All right. And what is that wood stuff called? What? Not wooden platform. Oh, the backer wall? I've already got that no, crafted. No, the, the regular wall. That feels... There is no regular wall. It's just wood. Oh, it's not just wood. Yeah, like All the right. stuff that we're building out of right now is just wood. Uh, that feels like it needed to be one higher. Yeah, okay. Ooh, uh, actually, real quick, James, can you kill that one in the raincoat? Rain jackets might drop a special cosmetic if you kill them. Oh, you have a measuring tape? Just buy it. I thought you had to drop the measuring tape. Yellow icon. Where? Ruler. Uh, you dropped some glow stick. Okay, I think we nailed it. All right, uh, can you remove this lower level, please? Like this? Yes, perfect, thank you. No! I keep thinking James is some sort of weird fish man. James, are you muted or are you just vibing? What, I'm talking? Hello? I hadn't heard you. Oh, we bit, haven't heard you. Yeah, we hadn't heard you in a very long time. Oh, I've... All right. Inside of that chest, there is a door. Uh, and inside of that chest, there is also a uh, a chair. And now I also need you to craft. Uh, we want two chairs. I make three chairs and three tables and three doors total, please. And thank you. Hey, I found the fallen star. Is that good? Yes, you want to collect all of those. Hey, what's up, Joe? All right, who's on who's on furniture duty? Uh, so what what furniture do we need? Again? I think James so, is on it. We need a total of three chairs. We need a total of three tables, and a total of so three are, doors. And we have some of those in a chest right now. Right. So there are three chairs. There are one door. So I will make two more doors. Is that perfect? God, if that's perfect, I'm going to be so happy. That's three doors, and you want three tables, yeah? Correct. All right, three tables. Is that actually correct, or is that last one one off? I mean, I guess I can measure. The last one, I, they don't look exactly the same. The closest one looks one smaller <sighs> right than it is. the... All right. Back do me a solid, do me a solid, and uh, move that entire right over by, uh, entire right wall over by Ow. one uncountable oh, unit, right please, here. and thank you. <laughs> the right wall or the left? I The wall that I just moved. Right. All right. Uh, may I have all of that furniture, please, Zuno? Needs to be one higher. Is that too small? Okay. All right. 
James has now got the furniture. James now has the furniture. Classic James. All right, James. In each of these little gappities, please put a door. Yep. Oh, God. Um, there's doors. Door. door. Perfect. Door. All right. Now, yep. in the middle of each room, place down a table. 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 And now chairs are directional. So I I think it looks better if it's on the right hand side of the table here, but you pick, just make it symmetrical. In each room, put a chair. There. Now that should be That is three seven by five rooms. That should be all that they need to come and move in, right? The next thing we want is we want a level. Oh. You should be able to check with the housing tab. Where's the housing tab again? It's been a while, chat. House icon. When your inventory is open, where's the house icon though? Housing. There we go. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Oh, it's the hammer for the back wall, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what health bar? That's an in-game option. So if you go to settings and you go to, uh, was it interface? You can click on health and mana bars to change that around. All right. How do we want to do this storage-wise? So my thought is going to be trophies, maybe underground storage. We don't have enough rope yet. Did y'all loot a bunch of rope yet or no? Yeah, there's rope in the chest, I believe. 120. Now we can craft it as well. Who, who opened the door? It's not, it's not a question of assigning blame. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all I had. Okay. All right. Uh, next step is going to be, let's grab all of the precious metals. And you know what? James and or Uno, yeah. uh, you two work together and you tell me where you think we should put our storage room. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking maybe underground. Are y'all down with that? I, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say basement. Okay. So do we got to dig? Colin, now that door was Colin. That's Colin's fault. So I would give... Colin, come on, man. I would give about three of stone here. And actually, let's replace this really quickly. So yeah, uh, give us... And using the same elevator, uh, give us a little a little storage area. Maybe do like, um, like a 7 by 10 or something like that. If you want to hollow out a little space like that underneath. From what side? Just pick one. Like using the elevator to get to it? Yeah, picking a side from the elevator. Well, I mean, with the it would have to be on the left side, right? With all the planks. Up to you. It really doesn't matter that much because we'll just put up we'll just put a platform there, right? So you want it there. Can you go down one just so that they're even? Yeah. You can. There you go. All right. So that's going to be our storage room. Uh, and then meanwhile, I'm going to start trying to craft us some more uh, armor and weapon sets here. Okay. So that's silver. That's platinum. I want I want his little umbrella. Yeah. I'm not getting his little umbrella. You do want that umbrella. Correct. So Uno's currently using wood. I'm using tin. James is wearing um, cactus. Cactus. Uh, all of the metal and ore that y'all collected that all got put away. Is there any more? Or no. No, I think it's all. 
All in there. Uh, yeah, it should all be in there. How big did you want this? Like a seven by ten, and you can you can put torches just on the back wall too. It doesn't have to be attached on that background. Yeah. God, can you imagine if there was a chest right there this whole time? That'd be so funny. <laughs> Um, all right, how are we looking for metal? Uh, not great. Maybe I just make a fishing rod. And that's that's we just spend the rest of the episode fishing. <laughs> what? We can fish? Let's fish. Oh my god, fishing in this game is deep. All right, hold on. If we want to fish, we need a bait net. My first yo-yo. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I make myself a yo-yo already. Okay, I have made a little storage area. Hey, the merchant's oh, here. Gilbert. Nice. All right. Uh, go talk to them and see if, what they've got for sale. Merchant's a big deal. Shop. Mining helmet, a piggy bank. Piggy bank is big. A bug net. Uh, the heavy workbench. I think we want this. I think we want the heavy work workbench. Healing potions, arrows, a sickle. A forest pylon. Ooh, shuriken. I want the shuriken. Did I actually care about this heavy crafting bench chat? What does this get us? It gets us trophies and stuff? No, I didn't Goodbye, actually shuriken. care about this, did I? Does that, does that not come back? <laughs> All right, what you got, bud? Anvil. Mining helmet's kind of important. Oh, three gold, though. Dang. Uh, bug net. I'm going to buy a bug net. And I don't think we can afford the pylon right now. Oh, eight gold. Yeah. Have we, has someone bought a piggy bank? I just, bought, I just bought the piggy bank. I got cool. the bug net as well. All right, piggy bank. Piggy Bank lets you do basically exactly what you think it does. Piggy Bank, I believe, is... Um, it's like an ender chest. So you can throw whatever you want in there. So it's up top. Uh, that's a great place to put your money. Basically, just straight up. Oh, are, they, are Piggy Bank's personal as well? They, they are ender chests. Piggy Bank's are ender yeah. chests. All right. Uh, we don't have enough to do anything here. James, what's the armor value of your armor? Just hover over it. Uh, or better yet, hit escape in the bottom left corner. What's the shield? What number does it say in your shield? And Uno, can you say that too? Four. Uno, what's your uh, armor value? Where am I looking? Uh, hit escape, bottom right corner oh, to three. the left. It's three? Okay, Uno needs the next upgrade. Uh, so Uno, like I'm going to get you too, a so. full tin set. Tin, tin, tin. Uh, everybody has a silver pickaxe or no? What's uh, What kind of pickaxe does everybody have? Light yeah, silver. The silver one that you, you made. Okay. So we're going to make two platinum ones. Um, Uno and James pick a number between one and ten. Closest gets the pick. Two, it's always two. Uno? Three. The number was seven. Uno gets the... Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing! <clears throat> Well, uh, okay. Somebody check if that pickaxe is better than what you have. Uno, that's an upgrade. And oh my God, I can't believe it moved on me. That is a nimble. Yep. And then there you go. That weapon's for you too, bud. Oh, that's so frustrating. I can't believe I that happened. So the short sword is faster, but less damage. Here's an entire tin suit of armor for you, Uno. All right. Uh, next thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything's fine. Careful. <laughs> uh... I 
I think that light silver pickaxe is actually worse. All right, give it to James uh, then. The, sorry, the light silver pickaxe is plus 16% speed. The nimble one is 5% speed. All right. So this is going to be our storage room. Pardon me, please, James. Uh, let's make a space between Boop. these, actually. Sure. Wait, what am I getting? Am I supposed to be getting something? I've put a pickaxe in the chest up here, if you want to check oh, it. and it's better It might be silver. Better. Uh, what am I looking for? Six melee, four crit. Six, uh, mining four speed is the best thing. So if the mining speed is better, that's an upgrade. Speed. It's the exact same. It just gives plus five speed. There you go. And then just upgrade it there. Cool beans. Oh, I am loot. All right. So what we want to do here is we want to take everything. So a really cool thing that this game has is the ability to just sort to a chest. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start just putting stuff away. Uh, the gold chest is going to be for our richities. So it's going to be the sapphire, all the metals and all that stuff. Uh, the first plant, the first chest here is going to be all of the plant Ooh, stuff. That's... Goodbye. <laughs> Excellent work. Anything that's plant related is going to go in there. Uh, and then this one is going to be garbage. Can you bring down the chest that's up top, please? Thinking this will be mob drops next. Where did you put the stars? I haven't put them any, anywhere yet. So one of the cool oh. things that you can do, though, is this game has a button. Quick stack to nearby chest. So if you hit escape and then you look in sort of, there's the top left, there's your whole inventory. There's four little buttons in sort of the corner yep. right by the garbage can. And so yep. once something is put away, it just automatically sorts to it, which is rad. All right. Uh, can you put that other wooden chest on the bottom layer, kind of where you'd think it would go? Nope, not there. All right, we can't center on that. It's a little frustrating. Sure, you go there now. Very pretty. Can you make more chests? Yep. We might be a little resource poor for it currently, though. And we're going to find so many chests when we keep exploring, though. Sticky glow stick. Grim. No chests near your work areas so you can pull from them. Uh, I didn't think you could pull from chests. Also, the work area gets so busy eventually that I'm not too worried about it. All right. Do I care about a detonator? No. This heavy workbench ended up being kind of a mistake as well. You can pull from an open chest. Sure. <clears throat> How? Maybe we'll put like a metal chest up there later, but like I'm not too worried about it. All right, uh, give me a second here. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go on another adventure, and then that'll probably be the only one. How do I split again? Right, right click first. All right, uh, please take one of these each. This is just like in, um, just like in Diablo. It's a teleport home. I don't think I got one. Uh, no, I've got a second one. How do I split? So right click with it in your inventory, and then right click to drop it. I gave it to you. How? How how are we so bad at this? There. Thank you. It's like All it's right. like you've got a magnet. So, what are we doing? That is a very good question. Um What are we doing, chat? I think we might be strong enough to take on the Crimson. Oh, hold on. Does nobody else need a better pick than Silver? Are we done with Silver? Yeah, I think so. Uno, that's right with you. 
Yeah, yeah. I've, well, I mean, I've got a silver in that one. The platinum one wasn't better. All right. So I'm just going to destroy it. I don't care about these detonators. I don't care about any of this stuff. And I know that you can have like a pressure plate in your hand and scan for stuff. Maybe I'll hold on to it for now. All right. Let's go. You feeling? Oh, we could, we could fish. I'm going to use the bug net to catch stuff in the meantime, chat. But, uh... Like, there's no point in... We'll try and maybe fish for the last 30 minutes. Do you think we should go running? to the Crimson? I think we should maybe go challenge the Crimson. I, look, if it's Crimson or it's Corruption, you know what I mean. You're being pedantic if I'm getting that backwards. Who cares? Whoa, why are you so fast? Oh, I have fast boots. What the oh. I don't got no fast We're going to go left. Okay. Oh, you can sell things to the merchant. See? These are the things I forget about. All right, we're going to go challenge whatever the mysterious biome to our side is. Uh, actually, can whoever's in front of me just use your pickaxe and swing constantly? Uh, what that's going to do, and then just do that while we run to the left. All that's going to do is that's going to bring up bugs that I can grab. And now we kill. All right, we're going to explore this. And then uh, what we're going to try and do, actually, is we're going to try and get to the other side of it. If at all possible. Uh, don't go too deep if you can help it. Goodbye. Do we want to dig while we're uh, in here? Uh, we like... cannot dig. Uh, so this is a material that's too hard for us to mine through. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get to the opposite side of this. I was talking about this lead that was here. Oh, I did that backwards. All right, we're going to try and get across this area because this area sucks. Kill, kill, kill. Well, maybe I should have made a better bow before I got here. Oh, well. We don't want to spend a lot of time here. If you can help me with the pillaring up and stuff like that, that'd be huge too. So what we want to do is we want to try and get across this. So anytime we get to the top of a cave, uh, we want to make a little platform across. All right. We're going to try and just move to the left as far as we can. All right. James is on protection duty. All right. Actually, you know what? James and Uno, you two are on kill duty. I'll be on build duty. Uh, but I need you to move forward with me, please. There we go. Yes, good, James. Good. See how I protected you there. Thank you. You did a great job. You can't mine through that, James. Oh god, there's a lot of these here. Yes, that's why we want to try and get through this as quickly as possible. Can't mine through it, James. You're gonna have to place I, blocks. I'm aware. Sorry, bud. I can't. I'm Are you like, stuck? I feel like I'm stuck inside this. Yeah, like I can't. Wait, really? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't think I, like, I don't see how I'm supposed to get out of this. You think I can mine them out? No, I can't. All right. Well, we got bombs, but bombs might kill the James. Can you go down? You're James. Can you get on the uh, platform get and drop as down? far over to the left as you can. I'm as far to the left as I can. Oh, you're completely stuck there. Like, I'm stuck in between, like, three little pieces. Wow. Oh, I'm out. There I'm you out. go. I'm nice, out. nice, nice, nice. Sorry, bud. Yeah. Okay. We're there good. we we're go. Good. All right. Let's get you out of here. All right. Let's keep going. Keep going. Careful. There are prickly things in front of us.
All right, we did it. We're free. Freedom. Horrible freedom. Now, this biome might be a little bit bigger, so there's a chance that we get to the other side, and there's also some James. issues here, but we'll see. Oh. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's keep going. Death behind us. What biome is this? Just flower forest? Yay! Finally a chest! This is only our third chest this entire game. Uh, brisk guide to plant fiber cordigay. All right. Uh, that's not that exciting. Ooh, more recall potions. That's a big get. And what's that? Is that tin beneath us or no? Choke point. All right, while you two do that, I'm going to try and keep going this way here. All right, join me over to the left whenever you're ready, gentlemen. Oh my God. Hey, chat. Give me a reminder here. Uh, just the name. Uh, what's the first boss people normally fight? Just trying to think what we should be setting up for. Is it, is it Barry? It is the eye. Okay, it is the eye. And what's the start condition for the eye again? We just, we find it, right? Ooh, hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. Craftable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Right, right, right. No, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all, that's all familiar. It's all coming back to me. This is an excellent little fishing spot, by the way. Look at this. No. Man, sometimes the auto placer, eh? Is it because... Oh my goodness. How do people live with this? Why do people always suggest <laughs> the auto placer? Ice biome. Yeah. Oh my goodness. An early ice chest will be really great. And how are we doing for time here? It's 1.30. All right. So I got a question for you, James. You know. First off, you know, we're approaching the end of your first day of Terraria. What did, what did you think now? You've got maybe a little bit more direction. Still a little bit overwhelming? Is it a little bit better? Uh, I mean, it's not overwhelming, but I would definitely uh, not classified as the most uh, control intuitive kind of game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Very fair. All right. Do you want to spend the last bit of the stream today vibing and fishing or do you want to try and do a little bit of chaos and fight a boss? Oh, do our torches change or do you So no, I picked up torches? some ice torches is what's going on there. Oh. Uh... Vibe, vibe fishing or or uh, violence? Uh, violence? I mean, I'm I'm always full of violence. Basically, all I've been doing this entire time is just killing things. So, interesting. Where are we? Uh... Sorry, I'm still off to the left here. I'm looking for. Uh... I'm looking for an ice cave. Hopeful. Yeah. 
fight the fish. Mm, smart. Best of both worlds. Am I out of torches? I'm out of torches. I've discovered the problem. Oh, you've really gone far. Oh, careful. <laughs> Falling in there looks like an excellent way to die. You're right, we haven't... Only uh, we if ha you... We haven't found drown. an altar yet. Alright, maybe, maybe we'll chill today with some fishing, and then I'll spend a little bit of time... Yeah, grabbing that shooting star is going to be good, too. Uh, so you know how we got uh, hearts and then increased our max health? Man, no surface ice chests either. That's too bad. You know how we um, we increased our max health? The mm -hmm. shooting stars are used to increase our max mana. And the priority there is going to be basically for whoever ends up... Oh, no, a second one. No. All right. Everything is terrible. We found uh, Corruption 2 Electric Boogaloo. All right. Let's head, let's head to the right. We don't want this. Your fallback James. Oh, they're they're, they're going to keep spawning. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And a rash shackle. Oh, nice. So a shackle oh, is cool. a common drop from a zombie. Uh, I believe James has one already. And you've got a shackle that has a modifier on it. Uh, melee speed. We're going back. We're going back. Ooh, James is really low. Uh, if you don't want to die, we're running a little bit low on recall potions, but like... I'm, I got healing potions. I could oh, use. yeah. Uh, hit H. You'll auto-use one. So it's important to note that healing potions actually come with a debuff, so you can't spam them forever. Oh, uh, yeah. One minute cooldown. Man. I'm a kingdom for an ice chest, eh, chat? Let's just keep going. Should be relatively easy to get back. Is there something? You see something down there? I thought it, it might just be. I think it's just rocks. Never mind. <sighs> hey, oh, they are. They are better than the uh, tin greaves. I have another pair of uh, snow pants. Wee! Bye. Three defense. Is there a run button? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, it's it's move left and move right. You're always running. Okay. Eventually, later on, you get the ability to move faster, like me, just ditching you two. If at any point you feel like you don't want to keep walking, uh, we do have recall potions. They're a little bit precious right now, so I'm hesitant to use it. But like, obviously, you do you. Meh. Oh, right. We have to go back through this again, huh? Cool. Do these mobs just follow you forever? Uh, no? Maybe? I actually can't remember. There are a lot of them. Just All run. right. Where? Run. They eventually fall off? Oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Stuck. Uh, that thing happened with you. Know, the same thing that happened to you. I got stuck between some. Uh... I got a bird. Mm -hmm. Can I use a bird for fishing bait or no? Consumable. No. Why? Why would you kill the myrtle? <sighs> Stop murdering the cute squirrels. I didn't really get a lot of bait right here, me. chat. All right. So we're we gonna go fishing then. Yeah. So the issue with fishing is we need bait. I volunteer James as bait. So the thing we can do is we could get we could set them up fishing or whatever. 
hey, that uh, hairdresser's moved in. Oh, the hairdresser's there. That's exciting. All right. Uh, let's grab metal. And I think for starters, just because we're not very good at this game. Uh, you know what? Nah, let's be a little bougie. Let's be a little bougie. We're going to use silver here for bait. Oh, the quick stack even goes into your piggy bank. Yes. Anything rocks that you're basically you... next to. Where are the rocks? Wee. Uh, I will be back in just one moment. I really need a glass of water. Yep. Um. Surface rocks can help out. All right, let's get a couple of fishing rods here. And I'm thinking silver bars should be good enough to get us there, right? Wait, does silver not make you a fishing rod? Oh, that's frustrating. All right, well, I've got it. I'm going to make myself a bow. Just upgrade my wooden one. Only iron or lead. Okay. How are we doing for iron and lead? Yikes. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're not all fishing material. <laughs> and or wood? All right. Hold on. What can we do here? It's eight. Uh. Well. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, do you need bait, or do you just want bait, chat? You want it. Okay. So, that's for James. Oh, you need it. Oh, that hairstyle is expensive. Like nine gold for that hair. Without bait, you're wasting time. All right, let's find some surface rocks here. Got a stink bug. Got a worm. Oof. Where'd everybody go? Well, I'm trying to get us bait so that we can fish. How do you get bait? Uh, well, you need a net, so it's kind of a good two-person job here. Here, join me to the left of the house, please, and thank you. To the left or the right? What is that? Is that the bottom of a tree nub? What, what is that? All right, so James... Uh -huh. Can you go around and break all of these bushes and all of these little surface rocks with your pickaxe? And we want to see if any bugs come out. No, no, don't don't break the ground though, please. Now we need to patch that hole. Where'd my dirt go? Oh, wait. How uh -huh. is it? Oh, I'm just... See, all right. I need you to come back and I need you to fill that hole. There you go. See how that... Yeah. All right. Who's got who's got two dirt on them? Yes. Good. Thank you. All right. Let's keep going to the left. And uh, we only have one net because we got that off of the merchant. So yeah, go break those surface rocks. Well, let's hope for bugs. Nope. Yes. 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, the worm jackpot. So many worms. One more, one more, right here, right here. Unlucky. All right, so let's go all the way to the right now. Because there was a... So here's a question, chat. Should we start in an underground watering hole or should we go to the desert oasis? I think all things even, right? The oasis is pretty. The oasis is pretty. That's fair. We're on medium map. It's 
like an unstoppable juggernaut. Uh, Uno, can I get you to chop chop some trees, please? Yeah, I was just keeping James out of trouble. But uh... We're going to need some wood. Oops, I caught a bird. Bird is not bait. All right. Oh, caught a butterfly. I don't know if a butterfly is bait or not. All right. Let's get over. Let's get over to this. Uh, this no, we can't get to the coast yet. No, no, no. No coastal run right now. Although that would be fun for fishing. So when you guys are done, please, please join me over in the oasis. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. I need a little bit more wood. I don't really want to chop chop the palm tree. Awesome. Hello. So. Here's what we need to do. I need an door. Very good. Do you need this platforming over? Uh, That's good enough. All right. Can you throw me a bunch of wood, please? And thank you, Uno. like 500 or so oh that was so much wood you're beautiful thank you friend all right do i want to make this pretty ah uh, sure we'll get some different wood in here in a bit and we can mix it up and make it even prettier Oh, no, don't chop those trees. Those trees are pretty. All right, come join us in our little uh, our little wooden area here, friends. So I tossed a fishing rod to all of you, right? Um. You should have a fishing rod in your inventory from before we left. Wooden, wooden fishing pole. Very Ooh. good. Can I drop bait and it stays an item or will it get set free and it'll be like a bug? Chat. Oh, wooden fish, wood fishing pole. There we go. Uh, can you move please? Oh, thank you. Uh, don't fish yet. You don't have bait. Yeah, I was trying to place the walls. All right, so, ooh, wow. All right, Uno. Wow. Here, James, come step outside with me, please. Here you go. Pick up those worms. So now, when you fish, you will automatically use your bait. And so what we're doing is we made a little house so that if enemies try and attack us here, uh, they stay on the outside and we stay on the inside. Yeah. Which I think is very clever. I just... I just need this to have a little window here. So, uh, how does fishing spot, work? Pardon me? How does fishing work? Well, you, you put the, the bobber in there, and then after a while, uh, the, the fish come, and then you and you click, and you catch them. Uh, can you move over to the right, James? When you say the fish come, yes, because it occasionally does that little blobby yes. thing. Yes, and that... at that point you should click to try and catch that fish. All right there, it's beautiful. When your bobber shakes, click it again. Cool, I got a cola. That makes sense. I got a tin can. Fish better. I got a rock lobster. There you go. <laughs> so one of the things now, obviously, is our skill is low and our 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 sorry. Our fishing rods are low and our bait is bad. Which means the things that we catch are bad. Uno, can you move all the way to the right, please? Actually, maybe all the way to the left. I'm trying to make this pretty, which it really doesn't need to be, but I need it to be. Your bait is bad and you should feel bad. There, look at that. Isn't that cute? 
the effective lake is tiny in size. This should be pretty good, shouldn't it? We're getting a lot of trash. The fishing hole might not be big enough. So give me a second. Like, this should be enough, right? The water is now low, too. You think that was the problem? There. That should be good now, right? All right. Let's see what we get. A wooden crate. Ooh, I got a flounder. So a wooden crate is great. Wooden crates will have... We can get loot on here. We can get better weapons. We can get metals and ores. All kinds of stuff. I also think I just got a bomb fish. Sick. Why does it not look like my worms are being used? So uh, there's only a chance that bait gets used when you catch it. Yeah. Actually, give me a second. Okay. Yeah, this needs a support. Thank you. I believe the background wood walls don't count against this size, right? There we go. There we go. Now that looks cute, right? There. Huh? Why do our bobbers look different than your bobbers? Uh, I have a different fishing rod. Mm. I had enough material to make one good fishing rod and two peasant fishing rods, and I made my choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see how it is. Ooh, an oyster. What is an oyster? So, yeah, does? like I haven't used a single one of the five worms you've given me, which seems... Kind of strange. Uh, I've used one of the five, so I I must two of the five now. I must be getting them back out of the fish. All right, episode one of Terraria. So episode two, we're gonna focus more on bosses. I'm gonna be honest; this was a little bit slower of a start than I was hoping for. Uh, I think we got. I'm going to say, and I'm going to wait for chat's input on this. I'm going to say we got a little unlucky. There you go. I have a rock lobster. I, I have many. I'm going to say we got a little <laughs> unlucky in terms of like starting chests. Stuff like that. Our seed is awful. Yeah. Very unlucky. Like no early chests. Um, nothing really interesting between ourselves. Sorry, there we go. I'll put a light source over James for you there, chat. No, no real interesting biomes nearby either. No tree of life. No nothing. You got really bad adjacent biomes. Yeah. So like a little bit of a spoiler for you, James and Uno, but like the desert has a chance to spawn something that would have been very beneficial for us that we didn't get. Ice caves have amazing chests that we didn't get. Uh, for that barrel, uh, right click with it in your inventory like you would use a potion or something like that. We had yeah, none surface chests. We've had one water chest, which was actually just a wooden chest. Yeah, it's been kind of unreal. We've only found one underground house so far, too. What is this uh, actual came seed? Some lead. Sorry, what's that do now? Came, it had some lead and uh, five mana potions. There you go. I got five. I got five iron bars. Nice. So iron bars we can use to actually craft you better fishing rods. <laughs> Maybe our our dungeon chest will be pretty good. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll spend a little bit of time. I mean, the other thing we can do, which is very funny, we can take our character. We can always just re-roll, which is the beautiful thing about this game. The important thing to know for a playthrough is our characters in our world are decoupled, so we can always do whatever we want, right? If we feel we were a little weak in the start. We can try another map, just hit all the chests and move on. Like, we don't really lose all that much. And anything that we do lose, uh, or, or that we care about, we put in our inventory when we switch over. I have no idea what our actual seed, though, is chat. I don't even know how I would check. So that's something that we can talk about in between. Oops. 
Uh, it turns out T is throw. Okay. So Bomb I think, fish. James, you've got my fishing rod. Yeah. Uh... Oh, God. Wait, you threw your fishing rod to somebody is what you're trying to communicate? There. Yeah, yeah. You got it? Yep. I was trying to open, like, chat to see if there was, like, a... I got a black pearl. Interesting. A seed command. Apprentice bait, journeyman bait, some tin ore, and some iron ore. Let's go. Right, you can kind of go infinite with your fishing sometimes, too. Which is neat. There's a... Um, there's a whole, like, quest line you can get with... Uh, there's a special NPC specifically just for fishing. And what the fishing NPC will get you to do is go to different biomes. It'll be like a very specific fish from a very specific biome, which is kind of fun. Mm. Kind of cool. You hate the fisher kid? Yeah. <laughs> Like, you can do... You can't fish your way through the whole game, but, like, fishing is a very fun mid to late game thing that you can just entirely focus on. Like, you can spend hours just fishing in this game. So, do you not get weapons from this biome? If open ocean fishing actually really accelerates uh, the weapons that we have as well. We haven't done anything for NPCs, chat. We haven't done anything. Fishing used to be a big progress skip, but they might have fixed that fish. now. Mm. Yeah, ocean fishing would be a lot stronger than what we're doing right now, but we can't quite make it to the ocean yet. The seed. Oh, thank you for finding that, Chrono Magistrate. All right, the seed is in chat right now, if you're curious. If anyone needs Terraria items, we're good, but thank you, Kazuto. Another wooden crate. Let's go. They fixed the most egregious skipping. Interesting. All right. So next stream, we're probably... I'm going to say next stream we can get two bosses. I bet you we can get Iron Worm. Ooh, one of you want to grab that star, please? Thank you, Uno. I bet you we could do Eye and Worm next, next stream. This is medium. We can join the same team. I'm gonna, gonna stop. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> just because you keep suggesting it. No teams, what, chat, only chaos. What, what do teams do? I don't even remember. I think it just Doesn't lets matter. you see each other on the mini-map. I think that's about it. I already see you on the mini-map, though. No, 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 no. When you're further away from each other. That's about it. But we're just, like, sticking together, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, and you can see health? Oh, that makes sense. Ooh, can I grab that through? I can. Nice. Yep. Ooh. Can you grab that one? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, I'm out of bait. I still haven't used a single bait. Really? No. Have you caught anything? Goodbye, yes. Uno. Lots. Ooh, the 50th uh, zombie. zombie banner. Yeah, I, I mean, I've room. caught... I don't have room to put all this here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Flounders and rock lobsters, but I'm definitely catching stuff. I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? No, obviously not. All right, Uno, come over here, please. Got some bait for you there. Oh, I just used one bait. Proud of you. But it didn't even get me anything good. Can't wait to see an official Surge Artisanal Bait Arena. Oh, it's going to be such a treat. Ooh, another. 
other star. Now you can start seeing the genius of the fishing house, eh? We can fish in peace while they're stuck outside. I could let them in. Please, Please don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying my peaceful fish. Hello? Jesus, Funko. That is not the acronym we're going to use. But thank you, bud. Where are these eyeballs keeping these coins? In their pockets. Where does an eyeball have a pocket? Doesn't have an eyelid. Now we're asking the real questions. Oh, now I'm not catching anything. All right, let's uh, let's are head back to the base, base and let's start oh, getting yeah. ready to call it a day, shall we? So you kept your bait for so long and then yeah, used and it all up at the it. last minute. The real question is, what are the coins in Terraria made of? It says right there, copper and silver. Ow. Out of the way, slime. Okay, so we need a special chest to put all of our fishing stuff away into. Uh, don't bother keeping old armor. Uh, just, just like right now. Uh, let's put all the fish in the last chest we got, all the fishing stuff. And we can go ahead and shuck it then. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is let's put the... Reminder that you also have access to a piggy bank, things that you want to hold on to. Like, I'd put your bait in the piggy bank, just so that you can grab it next time. We'll get another piggy bank, and we can put it there later. Oh, you can put bait in your piggy bank? You can put anything. It's an ender chest. It's not just for coins. Ah. Uh. Oh, I got a snow hood. I don't think I saw getting that. Uh, you know what? Let's put potions in. Uh, put potions in with the potion ingredients for now. Eventually, we'll get more chests. Gold, we'll put weird relic stuff. All right, how else did I do here? I got an extractinator. That's kind of cool. Actually, I think that's a very good hit, right? Can't remember. Can't remember if I care about this or not. There we go, a zombie banner. Ooh, another black pearl. Lesser mana potion. Do we have any of us that cares about being a wizard yet or nah? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I'll be a wizard if you want me to be a wizard, but... You can be a wizard whenever you want to be a wizard, James. Who am I to, who am I to tell you otherwise? Uh, we reached out getting the rare tin gems. Can? Two pearls. All right, did everybody crack all the boxes they got too? Yep. Yeah. How do we do for ores? Not great, eh? No, really. I got five iron bars. I think that's all I got. That's all good. All right. Well, let's call that here uh, for day one of Terraria. I hope you two had fun. Uh, we're going to get into boss stuff next stream. And I think you, uh, hopefully at that point, things really start to click for you, you know? Oh, I found the zoom feature. Oh, any final thoughts or anything you want to add, or should I just say goodbye? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited good. excited to come back next week. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Uno. Thank you, James. Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 All right, everybody. Uh, first off, thank you. This has been super fun. I hope you enjoyed episode one of Mine O'Clock Plays Terraria. So the goal here is we're going to try and do little bite-sized chunks. We're going to explore this game together. And... Once we hit about hard mode, we're going to evaluate because we don't want to lock ourselves into playing this game for forever. 
Because, you know, this game goes deep. We all know that this game goes deep. Uh, but this has been great. Thank you as well. Like, you provided kind of the perfect amount of help in the background there of, uh, you know, giving when, when asked, but without having to worry too much about, like, the heavy backseating. So thank you. Thank you for being your normal, delightful little selves. That was fun. God, I want to play so much more Terraria now. It's actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> uh, thank you for all the support over here at Lonely Ready Run. We really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for all the subs and the bits. And a reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you with your support over the Patreon at patreon.com slash Run. You can also support us over at Store with our merchandise, store.loadingreadyrun.com, as well as over at the YouTubes. What up, the YouTubes? Uh, reminder that we will be doing this every Tuesday. So look forward to seeing this next time. Same bat channel, same bat time on Tuesday the 27th. All right. 